So, good evening. Uh, it was a good evening if you're Unai Emery and Aston Villa. Uh, also a good evening if you're Pepper Man City. Uh, we're smoking the uh, self-destruct pack. Uh, smash mm. the like button up. Make sure you are subscribed. Now, make sure you are subscribed to Jez. I'm going to get that link in the title any second now. Uh, Northside and the Gale uh, should be joining very shortly. They're live. They should be here in the next 20 minutes. Uh, Matty and Jez, maybe. But, um, yeah, uh, we're going to break down that absolute crap we have watched tonight or this yeah. afternoon. After watching Man City put five past Luton, um, after they'd already spanked four past Aston Villa, funny enough, yeah, um, they also put three past Real Madrid. Um, they also put four past Palace. And yeah, we go and lose at home. For the second time against this manager, by the way, he beat us with Villarreal. Um, in fact, actually he drew at the Emirates that day with Villarreal, which got him through 2-1 on aggregate to a Europe, Europa League final, which he ended up winning. Uh, which, funny enough, uh, he got us to and lost but that equals the same amount of finals at Arsenal. A super Mick after spending 600 million has got us to. Yet again, round and round and round we go. Big up, Jez. Arsenal history and more. I'm going to get the link in the title. Jez, I know you're seething. I know you're fuming. Um, you said that your wife came in and said, I've never seen you so angry. Um, talk to me, man. Talk to the people. Smash these likes up as well. There's a thousand people nearly in it. Get these likes up real quick. Mate, seriously, I've had enough. I've, 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 sorry. <clears throat> I gave this guy, guy license. You did. You know, we, we've, we've gone from the start of August. We came through and he, he was doing good. <clears throat> That's not lie. He was doing good. Right? Since Christmas, outrageous. Until today, stat, fact, we'd conceded four goals. Four goals. Tottenham conceded four in one game yesterday. I mean, I, I, I mean, where, 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 where can you get it wrong? Where can you get it wrong? Yeah. Liverpool lose today 1-0 against Palace. And there's that is almost Klopp saying, "There you go, Arsenal. There you go. We 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 didn't do well against Man U last week, and now we've lost today, right? So, Lee, chat, anybody, please tell me how this team cannot get bloody motivated, right? Yeah, to turn up today and beat Aston Villa." You've been put it on a plate, right? We win today, you go above Man City, yeah? Mindset, focus, yeah? You couldn't do it. Why? And that's the Why? thing with me. Why? That's the thing with me, yeah? We don't need to watch what Man City are doing. We don't need to watch what Liverpool are doing. Just win our games and we win the league. That's it. That's my point, Lee. That is my bloody point. Right, it was all there. It was all there. And yeah, I am angry. I am very, very angry. Right, because it was there on our plate today. Yeah. And Arteta, you absolute prick, you cocked it up. You got it all wrong today. And I blame you absolutely because you cocked it up. Because as soon as I saw Zinchenko there, I knew this is a problem. This is a problem because every time that guy starts, Lee, he causes panic in our defence. I said it to you the other night after the uh, Bayern Munich game, and he did it again today. He was worse today. He, he was shit, man. Um, I'm sorry, Lee, but, you know, the other thing I have to say to you is this, right? Where were the fans today? I mean, they were, all, they were all trying to get the tube back home, mate, on the 84th where, minute or 82nd where, minute. Where, where were they? Where, where, where were they? Yeah, and were I they? think the Antiques Roadshow was on, mate. I think it, I had to get home for the Antiques Roadshow. No, but at the start of the game, man. Where was the singing? Where I mean, was... Jess, did, you, did you see the second half, right? 53rd minute. 
Yeah, 53rd minute, and that stadium was empty. Why? Because they were still on the concourse, mate. Yes, I said that. I said that. I said yeah. that. They're all eating their bloody prawn sandwiches. And then somebody said to me, oh, they're queuing for the loo. No, they're not. There's yeah, loads for the loo. Of them. Do me a There's favour, loads. mate. There's about a thousand the toilets in that stadium. There's yeah. loads of loos at the end. There's about a thousand. I'd, I'd, I'd imagine there's about a thousand toilets in that stadium, mate. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. They were all standing there having a jolly up and all that, which is cool. Listen, they, anyone can do whatever they want. They've spent their money. They've gone to the game. They can do whatever they want. But then don't have the audacity, yeah, to start chatting rubbish on the internet. Yeah, because let me tell you right now, yeah, right, seven, eight minutes into that second half, that stadium was half empty. Half full, half yes. empty, whatever way you want to put it, yeah? I and I said at that exact it. time, I said at that exact time, I said, this has got Aston Villa 1-0 written all over it. Obviously, it was 2-0. Mm. Yeah, all the way through that game, it panned in on the crowd all the time. Panned in on the crowd. Yeah, and I said, why aren't they singing? Why are they all sat there with somber looks on their why face? Because they knew what was coming. Right, uh, excuse me, also, Lee. Oh, the big Ashburton army, right? Oh, the boys, the, the ultras, right? Doing absolutely jack shit in the North Bank. Ah, oh, all 25 of them. Yeah, big up to you, boys. Well done. You didn't clock get in, it up clock today. In, clock in. Clock in. Yeah, that's what I said. I said North yeah. Bank, then clock it. Right? Yeah, sorry. Yeah. Right, we're fuming. We are. We sat backstage after his fan cam, yeah? I swear down. I've just I sent a message to Potts as well. I am shaking with anger. And the reason I'm shaking with anger, you know, people are sitting there and go, oh, you're just, oh, you're loving this. You guys are loving it. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Not loving it at all, mate, yeah? All we have to do is win seven games. And we've lost the first of them seven. At home to Aston Villa with our former manager. Without Douglas Louise playing, the hype about Douglas Louise missing this game. <laughs> My chat was lighting up at the weekend. <laughs> Douglas Louise is missing the game. <laughs> I was like, why does anyone care? Nobody rated him anyway. Yeah, until he was linked to Arsenal, nobody rated him. Yeah, he was linked to Arsenal. We put a few fake bids in, yeah, under market value. Yeah, and all of a sudden he's now rated. Well, he ain't getting in the team, surely, because we've got 29. Let Lee, look, 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 look let, let, let's let's put it right. Let's let, right, first half, yeah, we're not playing great, right? Where was the singing? Big up to Brandon. Um, Big where, up, where, Brandon, where, bro. I'll bring you in a sec, bro. Man, where was the, it, the stadium was so quiet. There was no passion. There was nothing. Everybody was sitting there, right? Yeah, Somba looks, they resigned to it. Jez, we see last season, yeah? We see last season, and, and we've been told, what a goal from Real Sociedad. Jesus Christ, that was a bad boy finish. Um, we were told last season, yeah, that that was our best season at the Emirates in 20 years, or best season at the Emirates, yeah, right? Mm. Best season at the Emirates. We got pammed by Brighton and they were all walking out. Yeah, they'd all given up. We see against Bayern Munich the other night when we come up against a proper team, by the way, and well done to Leverkusen. They've lifted the title today. Granite Xhaka in that, yeah, unbeaten, mm. yeah. We got told, oh, it's the worst Bayern Munich team, yeah, for 20 years or whatever. Cool, cool. Do you know what the difference is? The mentality and the manager. Yeah, because guess what? Our fans were walking out on 81st, 82nd minute against Bayern. Why? Why are you walking out? It's 2-2. Two -two. Why are you walking out? If you if, if you go to the cinema, you're not going to walk out before the end of the film, are you? Because you want to see the ending. When yeah? you're spending three grand a year, Lee, on a season ticket, plus your yeah, travel, like, yeah. plus, mm -hmm. plus all the other shit goes with it, right? You go up half time, have your steak sandwich with a free beer and all that, 27 quid, yeah, all that drama, yeah. You know, you know, Brandon, Lee, you, we've all beaten enough games to know you can time it, right? You eat your food, you go have your beer, you go to the loo, you get back to your seat before the start of the, of the second half. They're drifting in like it's like, oh, right, okay. Yeah, it's a social gathering, Jez. I've been saying this for a year or two. They're not since... fucking Arsenal fans, Lee. They're not fans, right? They come down from Hertfordshire. They come down from bloody uh, Buckinghamshire, bloody wherever they come from, right? They're not Arsenal fans, right? Real Arsenal fans will be there from the start to the death. Yeah, and they're all Jez, fucking... the, the problem. The, the problem is, Jez, yeah, right. You, we've all been there. Anyone who's been to the stadium knows, yeah? They all rush out with three, four minutes to go, yeah, before half time, 
yeah, to beat the queue so they can get served their beer first or their pie and mash or whatever it is, yeah, right? If you don't go until the whistle blows after stoppage time in the first half, you're not making it back to your seat until 53rd minute. You're not, yeah? And if you are one of these that walks out four minutes before, and listen, like I said, they can do whatever they want. But then don't make out that the atmosphere, the culture, everything's changed. Oh, the stadiums are louder. Yeah, I've been saying it since we came out of lockdown. Since we came out of lockdown, not just Arsenal, every football club. Yeah, it is a fucking social gathering now. It is not anything to do with results or trophies. It is a social gathering. They're just happy to be there because it's a release from day-to-day -day life. Yeah, they're going down the Arsenal, going down the Chelsea, going down the top spurs, going wherever it is. Yeah, just go and meet their pals and get on it. That's all it is. Yeah, and then the last two games, the last two games, yeah, fans are walking out on the 82nd, 83rd minute. I watched Atleti versus um, Girona yesterday, right? Atleti won 3-1. Why were the Atleti fans still in the stadium? Full stadium, bro. Beautiful, glorious, 26 degrees sunshine, not a cloud in the sky. Why were they still full stadium at full time? Because they, yeah. what, did they not need to go and get their tapas? Why did, why don't the stadium half empty at, at half time? What, they're not going to get the, they're not going to get their carriada, yeah, and their Russian salad and all that. Like, do you know what I'm saying? At half time. Yeah, and their pill pill. Yeah, with a little bit of garlic. Get out of here, man. I'm sick to death of it. The PR in this I league is fucking mugged off. jarring. Lee, I will, I'm going to shut up in a minute, let Brandon chat. I knew, I will never be mugged off. Right, but these are absolute arse white fans that turn up now, right? Because they are not proper. They, they they think they are, right? And they've been fans since like 2016 and all this and all that. Fuck off the lot of you. Because at the end of the day, if you support this club, why weren't you supporting us today? Why were you not supporting the club today? Why were you not singing? And getting the team up. Just get behind right. the team, no, guys. They need proof no, thick and thin. Result of your life. You've had the result of your life. Sorry to interrupt you, Lee, but I'm that angry. I'm sorry, mate. But at the end of the day, you've had the result of your life today. Yeah. Palace beating Liverpool. Yeah. Right. And you can get a result today, go top of the league and put the pressure on Man City and Liverpool are then out of the game. Yeah. Why can't you do it? Yeah. Mate, if we just win our games, we win the league. Yeah, big up to everyone locked in. Listen, there's 1,800 people in this. Smash these likes up. If I don't read your super chat out, I'll reply in the comments. it stop the flow and all of that. Listen, you don't even have to put them in. It's up to you, whatever you want to do. Worst ways, just smash the like button. Brandon. Brandon, bro. Bro. People are going to be sitting here saying, oh, look at this lot. They're happy. Oh, this is what they wanted. No, we've actually been saying the same thing for years and years and years. And last season, funny enough, I think all of us, all three of us on here, definitely, um, after Man United, after Bournemouth, um, which we still got to play at the Emirates, by the way, um, with a Reese screamer in the 97th minute. So that's not an easy game. Uh, I think all three of us at some point last season believed, believe, Robbie at the Emirates, uh, the Etihad, believe. Good one, mate. Good gimmick. Yeah, good gimmick. Um, we all believed at some point we were going to win the league. We were eight points clear and bottled it. So if anyone wants to have an issue with what I'm saying or what anyone on here is saying or anyone in the chat saying, Io di puta, nobody cares. Yeah, nobody cares. Because we are now two points behind apparently the worst City team since Pep's been there. We couldn't beat the worst Bayern team in 20 years apparently. And we've just lost to our former manager again. You got a problem with that? Cry. What are you saying, Brandon? I can't lie, bro. I'm, my head's hot still. Yeah. It's going to take a little while to get over this one because we keep seeing this over and over and over again. You know, people talk about last season. What about the season before when we should have finished fourth and we ended up finishing fifth? You know, same old thing, same old crap. Mikel Arteta's tenure in terms of trophies and mentality more than anything else has been absolutely shocking. How people are still behind this guy, I'll never know. I'll never know. And now the new excuse from Arsenal fans is, oh, well, what do you expect? It's Pep Guardiola. It's going to be difficult to win anything with Pep Guardiola in the league. Fuck off, mate. Yeah? Yeah? 20 years ago, there was Sir Alex Ferguson. Arsene Wenger still nicked three league titles off of him. Right. And what? What are you saying now? 
Yeah, I'm fed up with it, man. I'm fed up with it. Hey, when Me Jose you... came into the league, sorry to cut you off, yeah. Right, when Jose came into the league, he was up against Fergie, an invincible Arsenal. First season, boom. Second season, boom. Now, when the Sheikh bought Man City, yeah, did they sit there and go, "Yo, well, we're up against Jose." Yeah, well, it might not have been Jose at that point. Oh wait, I think it was probably someone else. Yeah, but guess what? Ancelotti walks into the league. Yeah, boom. Yeah, Fergie, boom. Another one in 13, 12, 13 season. Bro, all these excuses. What phase is Xavi Alonso in at Bayern? And people can say that's a shit league. And I, I agree. It ain't the greatest, but it's all relative. Yeah, he's just gone up against Bayern Munich, one of the biggest flipping clubs on the planet that have won 11 straight titles. 11 straight titles. And inside his first full season, have some of that. Do you know, Sorry, do you know what? Carry on, on, right? I've never wished injury on a player ever, ever, right? But I forgot, I, I, I wish Zinchenko had stayed injured because for some reason, this guy, this manager has a massive fetish with playing this guy. Absolute liability. Week in, week out, every single time he plays for this football club, we concede goals down his side. Every time. Where was he for the first one? On the right wing. And then I've got Arsenal fans telling me, yeah, but it's the manager's fault because he's asking him to invert. I'm like, cool. All right. Let's break that one down, shall we? So when Sinchenko was out injured and Ben White was doing the inverting, did anybody see him on the left wing? No. Nope. No. So is it down to the manager or is it just down to the fact that this, this guy is just crap? He's absolute liability. And as for the other one, the favela... Lacazette is what I'm going to call him from now on. Lacazette from the favelas, yeah? This guy is also a joke, an absolute joke. You're a number nine. You're a striker. Burying chances from six yards out should be your bread and butter. It's been put on a plate for you, and you head yeah. it three yards wide. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, three games and, in a row he's done that. That's three games in a row, right? And then on top of that, Let's just let's just talk about Mikel Arteta here because this seems to be a common denominator with Arsenal. And it has been in the entire four years that he's been here. But people still want to sit here and say, oh, yeah, but if he gets a striker, if he gets a, a top striker, the next season will win it. Well, no, because we've just pointed out that in the last three seasons, it reaches this stage of the season with 10, 10 games to go eight games to go, whatever it may be, and the common thing happens. Arsenal fold. Why? Because the manager and his mentality and his substitutions and his starting lineups are an absolute joke. Why? Why, right? Why play Kai Havertz in midfield when he started his career at Arsenal in midfield, dropping stinker after stinker after stinker after stinker, all of a sudden we realised, do you know what? Maybe playing him in the midfield is not the best solution to get the best out of him. Let's try him at number nine. Oh, since the turn of the year, he's actually been okay at number nine. Oh, let's play him in midfield today, just so we yeah, can yeah. on Jesus in. Well done, mate. And then on top of that, oh, Oh, we'll just take Martin Odegaard off. You know, the only, the only player who can actually hold a football in our team. The only one who actually looked up for it. The only today. one today that actually wanted it. Again, yeah. against Bayern the other day, he was the only one that actually looked yeah. like he was on it. There was, he was the only on his one. Case since he got here, bro. Yeah. Bro, me too. Yeah. Mm. I always say this guy disappears in big games, but against Bayern and today he's the our best player he's the one who's who's standing up he's finally being a captain and and showing the rest this is sorry how to you, cut you one second sorry to cut you smash these likes up 2.3 in there not even 500 and on that captain finger that perfectly encapsulated today the state of this football club he gets hooked off he takes the armband off he gives it yeah to the peruvian fake brazilian up front yeah he has it for two seconds, didn't even manage to unfucking peel it and wrap it around him. And then his number's up on the board and he had to give it to Jorginho. That right there sums up Arsenal Football Club. Absolute joke clown club. You could put, you could literally put clown music over that. Sorry, oh, bro. And then on top Why of that, right, that I, I, I want to know what's happened. What has happened to Gabriel? 
because I know you, Lee, and I definitely have been saying to everyone that how great he's been about how the fact it's that he's been our best, our best centre back for the last twelve months. All of a sudden, the last two games, Bozo Jean's back again. Yeah, he, he's doing Bozo. Is that though? Because he's had that dead left back at left back, bruv. Oh, so it's not that hard to work out then. So if we can all work that out, why can our manager not work that out? Let yet yeah, he's he's the greatest up and coming manager in world football, but he can't work out a simple thing like that. But all of us like can. Bro, look at the look at the first goal, right? Leon Bailey taps that in at the back stick, yeah, on his weak <laughs> foot, right? Where was our left back? Oh, he was playing right centre back off of that. Yeah. yeah. On the second goal, bad boy finish from Watkins, by the way. Yeah, I'm not quite sure why Smith Rowe was our last man. <laughs> right. Not quite sure where Smith Rowe was. Oh, Smith Rowe was on the floor for the first goal. Of course he was. Yeah, of course he was. Right. But anyway, yeah, anyway, right. On the second goal, where was he, bruv? Does anyone know where he was? He was not in the picture at all no. on the first goal. A uh, second right. goal, sorry. I went and looked back at it. And right? then as soon as that goal went in, hooked. Yeah. I, I went and looked back at that second goal. Do you know where Zinchenko was? Number 10 number position. 10. Number 10 number position. Why there you go. Not, How can I guess that? Not hooked at half time. Why was Zinchenko? You can see the weakest link. I saw it. Brandon saw it. Lee saw it. People, Other people saw it. Why was he not he, hooked? Jez. Unai Emery saw it because he brought on Leon Bailey. He went, yeah, that's a weak point. I'm going to bring on Leon Bailey. Cooked when he came on, bro. Cooked. And let's not forget, yeah. this lot played two days after us. We played Tuesday. They played Thursday. Mm. And they had no Douglas Louise. They played Thursday. They played a full team Thursday. Who looked fitter? Yeah, I said in the first half, right, after about 15 minutes, 12, 15 minutes or so, we were standing there, right, with our foot on the ball, I can't remember whether it was Gabriel or Rice. With our foot on the ball, I think it was Gabriel. He had his foot on the ball on the halfway line for about seven seconds. I said, look at the fucking state of this. I said to Matty and Olon, I said, look here. They've got their 4-4-2. Look at the state of the Premier League. I said, we're trying to draw them out by saying, come on then, come and get the ball then. <laughs> yeah. They've been told by a proper manager. Yeah, it was actually one stuff. Yeah, a lot of stuff. Yeah, in Europe as well. Don't be drawn out, lads. Don't be drawn out. What happened at half time? At half time, they played us off the fucking park second half. Real talk. It so then the, Real question, talk. the question has to be, right, because there was such a contrast in our first half performance to our second half performance, what the hell did he say at half time? What did he say? This at guys yeah. is a bottle of agua, but they are the agua guys. Yeah, I if you drink that, right? the agua, what guys, change? it what will give change? you powers oh. of magical guys. <laughs> Sorry, what just change, off. man. What, what, what the hell did he do in that changing room at half time? We Team were in Hubble. the game in the first half, right? And then we come out and we look like Bogner Regis Town. We were shit. Mm. Seriously. How many, times, how many times does it take one, two, three, four passes, bang, they're clean through? Or two on two or three on three. And I said this on the phone to Matty last night. Yeah, you know, we were talking yeah. last night. And Matty's gone to play football. Hopefully Matty joins. If he don't, he don't. He's going actually going to score goals tonight because he's playing football. Right? Because he can actually score. Not like our strippers up front. Yeah. Our, our twerkers up front at carnival and that. Yeah. And let me tell you now. I said to him on the phone last night, I said, Why does Saka always run into traffic? He said, Bruv, I'm glad you said that. He goes, Saka takes the lowest percentage shot every time. Every time. And when it come off against Bayern, it come off against Bayern. Yeah. Look at today. He's taking lowest percentage chances. He's running back into traffic. I said, this fan base think he's always doubled up on. He ain't. He just ain't got a right foot. So he runs into two or three players. Riyad Mahrez played the same position, is as skinny as him, as tall as him. In fact, he's skinnier than him. He's skinny like me, bruv. Yeah. And tall, as tall as him. Couldn't get the ball off the fella. Why? Because he's equally as good on both feet. they will just run rings around you, bruv. Yeah, but these dead wingers like Brennan Johnson, Werner, Doku, I wouldn't say Saka's dead because he's very good at some things, but he's very limited. Yeah, they take low percentage shots. When they come off, they look great. Don't come off from Doku the other day. That goal was crazy. He's tried that two and a half thousand times this season and it's not come off once. <laughs> like, come on, 
North side, my bro. What are you saying? Talk to me, man. I'm just hmm? tired, bro. I can't lie to you. I'm just tired. It's it's a game that I after the end of the game, you know, when you're like, what, what did I just watch? What what was that? So Liverpool dropped points, and this is how we react to that. This is how we react. Ben White was probably the best defender out of a bad bunch, Facts. and he comes off. Why? But he's playing through injury. Good one. Odegaard, that I've been cussing him on my channel about not releasing the ball when Kai Havertz make a run. Well, Kai Havertz, you had that service today. Facts. You had that service today, bro. So there's no excuse. And there's not even an excuse that he played in the midfield because you almost was playing like a striker. He was playing as a second striker, pretty much, even if he was in midfield. Exactly. Kai Havertz was basically a passenger for Arsenal for the first 18, 19 goal, 18, 19 appearances. Mm. He was a passenger. But this manager decides, so even though I got a tune out of him playing as a striker, let's play him as a midfielder. Make that make sense. Trossard wasn't amazing today, but he at least looked dangerous. Everybody was lacking in terms of their finishing in the final third, but he looked dangerous. Saka never looked dangerous, but he stays. He stays on the pitch. He stays on. Because of what? Because it's Saka. He has to stay on the pitch. What does Saka do? He had a, he had a shot where he tried to go around all the defenders. Yeah, and he took a dead touch on his left foot, yeah? Because he was trying to whip that back inside. He was trying to scoop that back on, and that dead touch bounced to the right. So he had to shoot with his right because it was a dead first touch. And he had a cross given to him in the box where he heads it over the crossbar. Other than that, what did he do? Nothing. What did he do? This guy gets away with it. It is a disgrace how this guy is never held to account on his bad performances. On no side, it's racially motivated, mate. Well, cool. Try, let them try and use that on me because guess what? <laughs> if you can't tell, I'm black. So you can't run that one with me. You know what I'm saying? They can't run that one with me. We've got the... The White Wayne brothers from White Chicks at the back, the two Rugrats, Phil and Lil, yeah, the two centre backs. Let's go shopping. We need to go shopping for a new manager. You know what I mean? Because I need you, and I miss you, and now I wonder. You know what I'm saying? If we can win the league, but I'm not wondering no more. Because fifty thousand dollars cash. <laughs> Bro, if you don't laugh, you'll cry. If you don't laugh, you'll cry. We've left ourselves. We knew last season. Everyone said, oh, because Saliba got injured. That's why we lost the league. Okay, cool. We had Kivio, that was shocking, got benched by Rob Holden last season. Get rid of Holden, that got benched by... Uh, we got rid of Holden, that got benched. Kivio got benched in favour of Holden, that was deemed not good enough, to then not go get another centre-back. So guess what? Both our centre-backs have two stinking performances, but they're going to play regardless. Because we don't have anyone better. Because that's how great our recruitment is. Just like Saka, three players in this team never held to account. Never held to account. Doesn't matter if they drop a stinker, they're in the starting lineup. Today, Declan Rice was an absolute bro. I'm I'm getting annoyed with this guy now. That performance two games in a row, bro. Two biggest games he's ever played in. Well, actually, yeah, you could probably say that. Listen, Conference League final, Europa League semi. Okay, it's up there. Champions League quarter, title race. Go back top of the table. It's probably about the equivalent. He's been shitting both of them. Mm. Yeah, let's be real. Where was he? He didn't even know Goretzka was running off him the other day. Yeah, he didn't know he was there, bro. Yeah, and today, what did he do? I didn't even know he was on the pitch, bro. Nope. Exactly. That midfield but, was anonymous. It, it, but Lee, he's got a he's got a Europa Conference League experience. Jorginho, the one with the Champions League experience. You're to blame for that second goal. You lose the ball, they hit us on the counter, and only ESR is the only player defending Watkins. The only they player, bro, off. that's on everyone. That is on everyone. How dare all of you drop in so high and just leave ESR defending Ollie Watkins, bro? And what a finish. There were so many things that could have changed this game, yeah? Do you know what's a disgrace? Against Luton, I told these Filish that Puta, ESR deserves minutes based on that performance against Luton. We rotated the team. He deserves minutes. But you know what? This manager says, don't worry. Let's wait until this. Let's not give him any minutes to ESR. Yeah. And now that my job's on the line and the title's on the line, 79th minute, bring on ESR. Really? Right. You don't, when the player's on good form 
at least give him some minutes if you're not going to start him. You don't start him until shit's hit the fan. Now, I'm tired of these foolish stuff. I'm tired of this, bro. What kind of game management is this? What kind of game management is that? You knock his confidence. No, side, there is no game management, man. No, side, there is no game management. At the end of the day, right, the whole shit show started, right, with him starting Zinchenko, the weak link, yeah? You know, well, as soon as you saw that, right, you watched the game, I watched it, Brandon watched it, Lee watched it, every watched it. You could see, right, that Gabriel is frustrated because he knows as soon as Zinchenko's there, right, he goes, Other. He's he's got to cover two positions. Even Trossard today had to do that. In the previous game, yeah, oh, yeah, God, come back. Yeah. That. Yeah, I, I said that to Lee. I said that to Lee. The fact is, he had to track back to make a tackle. Where was yeah. Zinchenko? And Watkins was there. Is, yeah, Zinchenko weren't yeah. even in the picture. He was in midfield, man. It, it's the weakest link. You know, remember that great program on BBC One? Yeah, yeah. yeah. and Robinson. Yeah, it, it is. This is you the are the fact, weakest link. Man. Goodbye. Yes. Get him out. Do you, know, do you know what's mad as well, guys, right? When I see that starting 11, yeah, I was like, them two city scrubs are in that team again, right? Again. Yeah, and then I looked at where Jesus was playing, and I was like, he's up front. That means uh, 29 is in midfield. And then Trossard left. So I was like, that left side, the whole chat was lighting up before kickoff gun. That left side stinks, bro. Yeah? However, if 29 could finish a wank, we're 3-0 up. Two of them shots he had, he crossed. They weren't shots. No awareness, no brain, no football IQ. You were clean through on goal, yeah? You take a dead first touch, a dead second touch, and then try to square it to nobody in the box. It was going across the six-yard line, the first one, yeah? The third one, he also tried to cross it. The one where he, um, where Diego Carlos come and caught him up, dead awareness again, dead IQ, because a competent striker... Right, and I keep getting told he's a striker or a false nine or right false nine, whatever. A competent striker, if that's Ollie Watkins, for example, yeah, he's going clean through. I think it was Conser. I may be wrong. I think it was Conser running with him, yeah, right <clears throat> near shot. But he's ahead of him. He took an off decent first touch, but now Diego Carlos is chasing him. All you have to do is just move across one step to the right. He now can't get anywhere near you because if he clips you, you're down. Yeah, and he, he won't probably get a red. Yeah, but if you're in the penalty box, there's a pen, and he and he may get a yellow. Yeah, instead, he took a second dead touch and then he cleared the ball. It's like, bro, bro it's he's got so all that size for nothing, Lee. It's like flipping Kevin Hart trying to barge Shaquille O'Neal and he's just falling all over the place. Bro, you got that height for nothing. The first goal, we have Havertz as right back, and then we had flipping, we had flipping, who is it, Rice playing left back for that goal, bro. Go back and watch that first goal, bro. Where's yeah. our fullbacks? Well, Zinchenko was playing right centre back at that point. He, he, well, I say he was playing there. He wandered into right centre back he for that right, first he, goal. He should have been there stopping Leon Bailey. He, he, he was right. He was actually right wing, and then he kind of wandered into wandered in, yeah, <laughs> centre back position. It's crazy, bro. I don't, I don't, I don't get it. I, I really don't. And do you know what else is annoying the hell out of me as well? How many times are we going to get dunked on by our former manager? In big important games as well today, yeah, yeah, chance to go clear in the title race. Villarreal over two legs in the Europa League, and yet we're supposed Bro, this to. This guy's be record at home. You've just made a great point. This guy's record at home in knockout competition European football is stinky, bruv. Yeah, two two against Bayern. Yeah, we're winning the game. Just like that, two bozos happen. Why? Because they've never played under pressure like that. Yeah, the first goal, people are trying to blame the goalkeeper. Friends of Aaron are trying to blame the goalkeeper. I'll come to comments in a second, guys, as well. Smash these likes up, 2.6 in here. Um, all the guys' links are in the title, and if they're not, I'll get them all in there. Um, I don't know where a gal is. He's probably bottled it like his manager, bruv. Um, but there we go. Um, but anyway, yeah, look at that first goal in that game. Yeah, look at the first goal in that Bayern Munich game. Right? People are trying to blame the goalkeeper. Why? Why are they trying to blame the goalkeeper? Our centre-back, who has been easily our best centre-back since the World Cup finished 18 months ago, <laughs> yeah, 
all of a sudden shit his pants because Harry Kane's standing behind him. Yeah, he's then off balance and plays a dead ball to Kivior, who's also off balance. Then Declan Rice, the hundred million pound man, didn't even know Goretzka was running off the back of him. Right, but they want to blame the keeper. Keeper for what? Ben White nearly stopped it, nearly done cut it, bruv. Yeah, I'm not blaming him though. Yeah, because he was put in that position by them three bozos before that. Right. Not only that, you then go to the second goal. Look at the second goal, bro. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, second goal is an absolute disgrace. The way he got spun by Leroy Sane, that was Giggsy against Arsenal, and we we're all going, yo, just wipe him out, bro. Somebody wipe him out. Yeah, Nobody yeah. wipes him out. And Harry Kane's that cocky, that arrogant, yeah, and that world class, and he is world class, yeah, that's world class, yeah, that he can go and take a little hop, skip, and a jump. Keeper's already fucking dived before he got halfway up to the ball, bro, because he did that. And just rolls it in the bottom corner. Yeah, we all knew he was scoring. Seriously. Sorry to, in sorry to interrupt you. Sorry to interrupt. Can we all agree? It's, it's, it, 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 it's, it's time. It's now time, right? If he doesn't every, win anything, he's got to go. Every, every relationship. But what are we going to win, Lee? We're not going to win the fucking Champions League. We're not, we've, we've, we've dust, done and dusted it today. I don't care what anybody says. We've handed it on a bloody plate, right, to Manchester City. If Manchester City were to get blown up tonight, I'm not wishing that, but then we might, <laughs> we, we might have a chance, right? But it ain't your happy. We'd still lose it to Liverpool. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, at the end of the day, let's let's just put it on the table, right? Oh, that's funny, man. He's, 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 he's had his day, right? He's had his chance. He's had four years and a day, bro. Four years and a half, bro. So, I'm sorry to upset the Arteta sexuals, yeah? He's gone. He's done, right? Wait, that's Amaria was just equalised in the 88th minute penalty. Bosh, we are so she had in the bin, bro. At the end that's of the day... That teacher, wouldn't it? It's fucking fetch if he gets another shot at this, right? I'm on the Cronkies next season. Real talk, yeah. If he did, if he wins nothing, yet, and he don't get sacked. And let's be real with this. Uh, big up to everyone who's dropped super chats. Like I've said, yeah. If you're putting them in, you don't have to. I ain't asking for them like other channels do. Yeah, but I'm not. If I don't read them out, I will reply in the comments. Make sure you sub to all the guys. The links are in the title. Not sure where a gal is. Yeah, like, man's maybe still live. I don't know. Or he's licking his wounds, bruv. Yeah, his manager's in the bin. Yeah? But check this. Back with the Cronkies. The amount of Arsenal fans at the start of the season, including Miguel, yeah, and many, many, many others on the internet that we see that are active, if he doesn't win anything this season, he should go. Cool. Stick with that then, innit? Yeah, don't be making another excuse. Oh, but we finished so close again. And, you know, it's not easy to beat Pep and blah, and they've done a back-to-back -back treble if they do that or whatever it may be. No, 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 no. Go and find someone that can actually fucking cross the line. Fucking hell, Lee. Yeah. At the end of the day, man, these people need a man up. Sorry to... I, I, am, I am very angry tonight. No, I'm listen, it's your show, bro. Wait, a girl's backstage. Yo, man, I heard the call. The call, oh, oh, the call man to Muff, bro. Man's here, brother. <laughs> man's up. Man up. Man Listen, listen up. I just finished my stream, man. Right. Sorry for being nah, up. come on, big up a gal. Go on, Jess. Right. One second a gal, bro. Go on, go on, Jess. At the end of the day, at the end of the, you know, if, if this if you want this club to be successful, right, you need to man up, right, and say, at the end of the day, you've had your time and go. End of story, yeah. enough. Enough is enough. Bad relationships, right? In whatever level of whatever fault in life. If, when it all goes horribly wrong, get out. And tonight, I'm sorry, he proved to me you're wrong. You've cocked it up. You had it in your palm. You had it there. We had it all in our hands. It's all there. After what yes, happened thanks. with Liverpool, right? Yeah? It was all there. And we threw it in the bin because of a poor manager of his tactics and his team selection. At the end of the day, 
Yeah, I've bigged him up since Christmas. You know, if you don't believe me, go watch Lee's fan cams, yeah. right? I've given him credit. No credit. clips of when we're positive, though, Jez. Do you know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, yeah, the fact remains he's cocked it up again, right? Time to go, fella. You've had your time. Because we ain't winning the Champions League. We ain't winning the Premier League. End of. And, and he threw that game today to try and win a competition where if we get through in the Allianz, yeah, which is oh. a miracle in the first place, we're then playing Real Madrid or Man City and then potentially either Barca, who is shit, I think we'd do them, Atleti, Dortmund or PSG. Good one, mate. The easiest one to win was the one that was all in our hands because all we had to do was beat Aston Villa, mm. Bournemouth, Chelsea, Spurs, Wolves, Everton, and United, which is yep. easier to do. Egal, and uh, be nice to Egal, bro. Be, be nice, nice to him, yeah, because this guy, this guy, bro, I actually kind of like you. I can't lie. You're a cool guy, bro. Yeah, we've had our ups and downs, smiles and frowns and all of that. Come on, big up. Yeah, but make sure you sub to all the guys. If I can squeeze all their links in the title, I will. If not, then I'll put them in the description. But Egal, bro, you said at the start of the season, you've said many times on Flowers' channel, big up Flowers, why didn't he title it? Arsenal bottled it today, bruv. Yeah. <laughs> but you've said many we times. Did, if, we did. We did. But, he, yeah, but you've said many times, which yeah. is why I wanted to get you on there. Yeah? yeah. If we do not win anything this season, then we should get rid. Are you still with that? And do you think we'll win anything? I'll let you have your say. Come on. Big up to everyone locked okay. in, man. Can I talk about the game first before we move on? To yeah, yeah, go on. Give us your, give us your, the floor is yours, my guy. The mic is yours. Right. Um, First things first, I don't want to scapegoat individual players. I'm not going to do that. But I do feel like I do feel like certain individuals should not be all playing. about. Should, should certain individuals should not be playing if, for if this football watching, club anymore. Up, certain individuals should not be playing for this football club anymore. For example, Zinchenko. I think we can all agree he should not be playing for Arsenal Football Club anymore in the summer. If we could sell him, I'd gladly get rid of him. And Mikel Arteta should, when he's looking at players who's helped cost us games. Today, he was one of the most creative players for Aston Villa. I do not want to see that guy in this pitch ever again. Number two, when it comes to our performance defensively and offensively today, that's down to the manager because he made too many changes in the attack. If you're going to start Havertz, you should have continued to start him as the number nine. Why did you bring Jesus and Trossard into this team? Completely messed up the flow of the, 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 the attack. You have Thomas Partey on the bench, unused substitute. If he's injured, why is he on the bench? He should have played over, over Havertz in the, in the midfield. You should have had a Rice, Havertz, Odegaard midfield, or a Rice, uh, sorry, you should have had a Rice, uh, Odegaard, and, and Partey midfield instead of uh, Havertz in the midfield, and then Jesus or Trossard on the wing. One of them, not both. You don't need that many attackers at home versus Aston Villa. Aston Villa is a team that's shown they can be threatening. And also, Una Emery, fair play to him. Because I'm one of those guys who criticize Una Emery. I'm one of those guys who make fun of Una Emery on a consistent basis. And this season, if we don't win the league, he's taken six points off us, which is detrimental to our league campaign. I don't like the guy, but I got to give him his credit because he's been able to do it with a team that has injuries, suspensions, and rotations. And a guy who I've never heard of, an NPC called Mor Morgan Rogers. Who the fuck is Morgan <laughs> Rogers? Who the fuck hey, is Morgan well Rogers? I'm sorry well. I can't lie. He was quality. I've never heard of this guy in my life. He's 21 years old, a baby on that pitch. This We gave up. Running the midfield in that, yeah? Is this what we're saying? Gave, gave the bro, midfield a run around. Bro. Today, I'm not I'm not somebody who's negative, but today there's not too many positives to take away, obviously. You look at where, the where, team where are you at? Go on, go on, I'll let you speak. Go on, go on. You look at the team performance. We, this is the first time in a long time where we gave control away of the game. And I really do blame that on the manager and his setup for the system. The system today didn't make sense. Zinchenko is supposed to help us control the game. He he didn't do that. Uh, our best defenders in Gabriel Magales this season. Are all can agree he's been our best defender in my opinion. Mm -hmm. He's the World making Cup. silly mistakes. The whole team is it a mentality issue or is it just they weren't up for it? I do, it's a combination of both, and that's where that's where I uh, semi agree with you guys when you guys come to criticizing the manager. Now the manager himself has come out if you don't know and has criticized the players' performances today and said it wasn't up the level, and the confidence wasn't there and blamed them for for some of those issues. But I blame him for one thing and one thing only. 
taking Havertz out of the number nine was detrimental to our attack. He should be starting as number nine going forward. I like Jesus, but he should not be starting number nine. He should be on the wing and the midfield. I don't want to see Havertz in the midfield anymore. It's not necessary. Yeah, that, that failed that failed back in September, October, November, mate. Yeah, yeah a real also, talk. Yeah. Also, taking off yeah, Odegaard and bringing on Smith Rowe, who hasn't. I didn't even mention anything. that. That's just ridiculous. Yeah. Mm. I didn't even mention that. Look, all that being said, I am not on the same train as you guys with wanting the manager out because I still see light at the end of the tunnel. Call okay, they, you know, okay, let me hold, let me stop you right there. You said at the start of the season and multiple times throughout the season, if you don't win nothing, then it's probably time for change. You, so if you're you not winning change. this season, it's time for change, right? You're going to stick with what you said at the start of the season. Lee, but things change. And what's changed is... Yeah, we've still won nothing. That's, what's that's the same, what, What's changed is, I see the window of opportunity is, is getting it's getting bigger for us now. We are, we are here. No matter what, even if we don't win this season, this Arsenal team is coming. And we're coming for major honours consistently. When? <laughs> because there, there's a track record. record. Know, yeah. Yeah. You, you, when would hope, you would hope... When Klopp and Pep leave... When Klopp and Pep leave. leave. Is that what you're saying again? When Klopp no, 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 no. <laughs> first of all, first of all, Klopp's gone. Klopp's gone. Yeah, I know. Klopp's gone, so so we won't be seeing Lee Gunner's little uh, meme of him imitating Klopp for much longer. What has because... Klopp got to do with him going? No, uh, this is this is uh, why it's crucial. Oh, no, this no, is no, important. We yeah. talked about this Arsenal. is important. With Klopp Arsenal. leaving, with Klopp Arsenal. leaving, with Klopp oh, leaving, let him land, Jez. Let him land, Jez. Let him land. Let him with land. Klopp leaving, the two teams that are going to have a stranglehold over fighting for the league is Arsenal and City. I don't see Liverpool replacing Klopp and having a smooth transition into another manager. The two teams that are going to consistently fighting for it is Arsenal and City. So our window of opportunity is now bigger. What we were worried about was if we missed off last season, that we were going to continuously drop and we're going to regress. This team is only getting better. Even with, uh, even if we change the manager today, I don't think the manager is worse than the team. I think the team is still uh, can be improved. Mikel Arteta has not the yet team signed. Is a reflection of the manager. In what way? In the, yeah, in the every club. In the I'll tell you, I'll tell you why. Every single club, the team is a reflection of the manager. Right? Okay. Pep is a mentality monster. Forget Klopp for a second. I'll come to him in a minute here. Pep is a nut job, bruv. He is elite. Everything, boom, boom, boom. I need to be perfection, 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 perfection. Right? Guess what? They're perfection pretty much. Let's be real. They're on for another treble. Right? And the track record. Then you go to Klopp. Klopp's a bit of a weirdo, bruv. Everything's a little bit erratic. Liverpool are erratic. 100 mile an hour, press, 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 spam, 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 cross, cross, cross. Yeah? Arteta is trying to be like Pep. You're not beating Pep if you are not Pep, my friend. Right? And the arrogance is what kills us at this football club. Not only that, we decide, yeah, to, and he overthinks stuff. Pep overthinks stuff, which is why he didn't, it took seven years to win a Champions League at City. Arteta has overthought that today, like he has done against Sporting Lisbon last season, like he has done against Villarreal before, like he done against the top four when we bottled that the season before last. Yeah, overthinking, 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 sticking his favourites in the team instead of players that are playing well. And I'll tell you this as well, yeah? Every time I look at Ancelotti, Ancelotti at Real Madrid, when, when do you ever see Ancelotti up and down on the touchline? He'll stand on the touchline, but he's not giving it all that. He's not jumping. Look at Arteta today after 12 minutes, 13 minutes of that game. Yeah, He's trying to shake hands with Jesus and give the ball to Ben White. How about sit the fuck down, mate? You're causing panic. Yeah, mm. And it's no co coincidence that when he's bouncing up and down on the touchline, landing aeroplanes, yeah, that the team's erratic, especially when them two City bums are in the team. We're trying to catch and overtake City with two players they disregarded. There's no good. Yeah, and let's be real, they're no good. Now look at Ancelotti, world-class manager. When do you see him doing all of that? When do you see Pep even doing all of this? Right? And he's trying way too hard, Arteta, to be like Pep, but he ain't got it like Pep. Ancelotti, bruv, he'll raise that one eyebrow, give you that look, and you know you're fucked at half time. Yeah, you're finished, bruv. Yeah, I see the other day, um, who was it? Simeone. You see Simeone getting animated and all of this and that. He's not trying to land planes every two seconds. Do you know why? Because all of these managers, like Pep, like Ancelotti, yeah, Klopp jumps up and down, but he's not 
trying to dictate the play of the game. He's just kicking off on refs and every now and again he'll have a go at a player like Salah missed the other week, yeah? Right? These managers are so sound with their game plan for the game, they don't do that shit. This manager is so insecure, bruv. It is crazy. And he causes panic by trying to micromanage through the games. Get a proper manager. Get a bit of karma, bruv. Yeah, is it any coincidence as well? Let me just land this one point. Is it any coincidence as well that that C Tech Bart Simpson comes into this defense that was solid and now it's chaos? And Gabriel, you said about Gabriel. Yeah, Gabriel's dropped two stinkers on the spin. Why? Who's left back, bro? That's on the manager. Can I, can on, I just before, before we can I just make on, a switch? I'm going to mute myself. Can I can just on. rebuttal one thing? Can I just say, Gal, just sorry to interrupt you, right? You made the, the statement about Klopp will be gone, yeah, at the end of the season. Okay, he'll be gone. Let's not forget that Arsenal back in days, right, competed with the best of the best. We had a proper manager, right, that competed with probably the best manager I've ever seen in the Premier League, yeah, Sir Alex Ferguson. So I, I don't accept the argument, Lee. I don't accept the argument, Egal, in the fact about we can't compete with Pep Guardiola. Because if we had, Lee, Egal, a proper, proper manager, we will compete. We can't compete right now. We don't have the level manager that we should have. He's proved it today, Egal. Right, guys, in, in, in on, on the panel, we proved it today. He cocked it up. You can't What's deny it. I, th I think. I think w w when you look at this manager, yeah, a girl, you, you're talking about giving more time. Let's 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 assess what he's done with the time he's had. He's built the team to uh, last superstar. season. No, no, no. He hasn't built a superstar lineup. I tell you why he hasn't. A girl. He knew last season we came second. He doesn't go and get. A proper striker. He gets a striker that basically has never proved it in the league. When we're supposed to be pushing on to get a player that is going to get us over the line. Declan Rice, you can say his body of work has pushed us on to try and compete to win major honours. You can't say that about Kai Havertz. You, sorry, he, one second. Manager, sorry, sorry, Northside. One second. We were eight points clear with Granit Xhaka in the team. Carry on. Exactly. The manager, you brought in Kai Havertz. You're the one that wants to bring him to the team and it takes you 19, 18 games to assess where his best position is. Well, why did you scout him in the first place if you don't know where his best position is? Why are you re-signing El Nene if you're not going to use him, if he's not good enough? Why are you keeping ESR that had a good game against Luton yet he can't get no minutes? But today, in the 80th minute, then you want to chuck him on when low in confidence. Why is it that Odegaard and Saka can drop stinker after stinker yet they start every single game? Why is it that you're allowing our centre-backs to drop stinkers and you got no competition for them? Why is it that Fabio Vieira is still in this team? Why is it that you re-signed Reese Nelson that can't get in the game? And let's not go on like this is the first game we've seen Saka drop a stinker. So there's been plenty of games that Reese Nelson can have a game, yet he doesn't get no game. Explain to me that. How come his man management is so poor, not only with just with ESR, but also with Trossard? More times this guy performs, doesn't get in a starting lineup. Today's a miracle that he even started. The guy can score, yet he always sees bench. He's the one that keeps performing for us in the Champions League. And a lot of times, he's always a sacrificial lamb out of, the, out of the front three. Why is it that we were performing so well after Liverpool without Zinchenko, but then you're putting in Zinchenko back into the team? Why? Because he's one of your favourites. So when you're assessing what he's doing with what he already got, it ain't good enough. It ain't good enough. Why is it that you're taking off Ben White that was our best defender? Why is it that you're taking Odegaard that was our best creator this, this game, even though he wasn't amazing? Why is it that you're making those kind of substitutions? Why is it that you didn't go and replace Nketiah and then you don't trust him just like ESR, but when, when things hit the fan, 87th minute, you're bringing him on. How's he going to affect the game? You don't trust him in the first place. So you're telling me that he's going to go now and make the right decisions. He didn't make the right decisions from last season. We needed a right winger. We needed a striker. We needed a number 10 to compete with ESR. We needed a left back. We needed another right back, potentially depending on how you use Tommy Asu. And if not, we needed a centre-back. But because we don't have those things and you didn't address any of those things, this is why we're in the situation that we're in. Going up against Porto, we're unable to beat them over two legs. Now we're going to Bayern Munich. 
You're scrapping now, making full substitutions. You're all over the place today. You're making the wrong calls. Why are you not playing Partey? I agree with you. Why didn't you play Partey and Declan Rice? Declan Rice was getting cooked. Why didn't you bring Partey to sit and, and shield the back line and get Declan Rice doing a Xhaka role? Because it was effective when we won against Luton for free. So why can't you do that? Why didn't you instruct Ben White that was doing it early in the season to start whipping in crosses? Then you put Kai Havertz centrally. You've got two players that he can aim at, that can head the ball. Why don't you change it? These are things that he saw this season, yet he's not going back to doing those things. Why is it that all of a sudden, we had before we had Odegaard that could dictate play in the final third, but you also had Jorginho or Rice or Partey or somebody that can dictate from deep. But we've gone away from that. We've gone away from whipping and crosses to players that can head the ball. We've gone away from not only can we play through you, but we've got players that can dictate the game from deep. Yet he deserves more time and more money. When simple things that he could have assessed this season, he didn't do. The guy should be sacked, Igal. He should be sacked. I'm sorry, you can't keep defending it. Basic no, decision. It no trophy. Not doing. And, and yet he gives that, it more time. This I'm... manager constantly makes the wrong call. Constantly. Okay. And you're telling me he's going to get it right. That. Imagine, Arrogant, imagine as well. Imagine how far behind we are from Man City, right? Because We're not. No, but it, you, let me let me finish again, and you'll understand where I'm coming from, right? You'll understand where I'm coming from. Man City lost Mares, Gundogan, uh, Laporte. Who else did they lose? I think Palmer and Cancelo. Palmer, Cancelo, right? So these are all top players, right? They replaced them with Doku, who's absolute trash. Nunes, who again is he's not great. Kovacic, Chelsea, you know, reject not the greatest, and they're still going to walk this league title. The left back. They're still going to walk this league title, and they've again. had probably and on for another treble, Brandon. A That's three out of ten transfer got. window. We all sat there and said these players that Man City are replacing, you know, the likes of Mares, Gundogan, etc., with. They're not, they're not, they're nowhere near them level of players, but they're, they're still going to win this league. That's how far behind we still are. And not only that, not only that, yeah. Kevin De Bruyne's coming to the end of his career. He's dusted, bruv. Yeah, yeah he's been unreal. Well. He's dusted. Yeah, not only that, you look at some of the other players in that squad. Yeah, John Stone's always injured. Yeah, some of them other players are not good enough. He knows this. Yeah. Savio is better than fucking 99% of the wingers in the league. Yeah. He's balling in Spain, bruv. I watch him every week. Savio is more technically gifted and can take a man on and has his head up and don't just shank the first man with a cross. Why? Because he's got tech and IQ. Hence why City have signed him. Yeah. Doku was just a stopgap until Savio rocks up. Yeah. Let me tell you now, Man City this summer are going on a Mazza, bruv. Yeah, so if you think now, oh, we're so close to them, we're so yeah, we are close to them in terms of league position and points and all that. Cool, we have been for two years. The league table's lying to you, bro. It's a fugazi, it's a catfish. Liverpool should not be where they are. Liverpool should probably be where Man United are because they're not that good. Arsenal should probably be around fourth, third, because we're not that good. Yeah, when I say third, I mean third by a long way because we're not that good. We're very good, but we're not that good. Yeah, not only that, if you look at Chelsea, Chelsea should probably be about 16th, 15th, 16th. Take Cole Palmer out of that team. They're fucking nearly relegated. Yeah, Man United have been winging it all season. Oh, the league table doesn't lie. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. So Sheffield United finished seventh the following season, got relegated. So yeah, the, the thing league is, table right, lies. Is, is if Man City can have that much of a poor transfer window, right, by their standards... What carries Man City through the mentality that the is manager. instilled that is instilled uh, into them by the manager, right? Why is it that in the last three seasons, Arsenal get to the last ten games of the season and we bottle it? Where's Saka for the last three seasons in the like, in the running? Where's he gone? Why? Because we ain't got a replacement for him because we flog him to death, and then the excuse is, oh, but he's playing through injury. Oh. <clears throat> Martinelli's playing with injury. Stop making excuses for players that drop stinkers. You can call out a player that drops a stinker even if we win. Real Madrid were fucking jeering and whistling Jude Bellingham off the pitch the other day. This guy's the second top scorer in La Liga. All right, let me let me just say this because I feel like you guys said a lot of things. I just want to say Go, on. Go for it, man. Um, first, on Arteta and him doing uh, airplane signs. 
those airplane signs also helped us win home games versus City and Liverpool. So it's like these things that you don't like about the manager are also things that can help him and the team get results. For example, he, those airplane signs told Tomiyasu to go touchline with uh, with Havertz up top. Where and would I get Tom? And, 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 and then ended up getting him the knockdown to Havertz to get him to pass. Down. So sometimes, so sometimes these things that you don't like can actually be yeah, okay. So some madness. Some no, 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 but you're just, you just, you just asked me a question. So I'm stating that now right. when it comes to some of the signings and everything else, I, we can, we can agree to disagree. The squad construction, everyone can have a fault with something with the squad construction. So we can be here all day and no one will ever have the perfect squad with this team right now. We know that this is not the perfect squad, but even with our imperfections, this manager and this team have gotten themselves in a situation where they're touch line, they're touching distance to a league title. It's not over yet, but we literally this was a detrimental loss in the sense that we no longer have control of our own destiny. We now need City to go and drop points, so that's unlikely to happen. In that case, we end up we could end up losing the league. Is that's, 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 that's the situation we put ourselves in. Now I'm not going to throw the baby with the bathwater out yet. Because but why have we reason, sorry, the reason you, why have we the reason why I've changed my tune when it was in our destiny in our own hand it was all in our hand why have we done that when we're at home to an Aston Villa team that played on Thursday a full squad the only English team to win in Europe by the way because apparently all these other leagues are farmers leagues but they're the only English team that actually won in Europe <laughs> funny that because their manager's got a track record of winning there cool with multiple teams against massive teams he got to a Champions League semi bruv after beating Bayern and Juve. After getting out of United and that Atlanta's group. Yeah, but anyway, anyway, There's no why did we put ourselves in that position? Because if it's all in our hands, we've got a top manager, we've got a great squad, or first 11, and it's in our destiny. All we've got to do is win and win and win. How have we got ourselves in this position then? Okay, this is what we've done. The, the result from Wednesday, since we didn't win the game, has kind of uh, shown our vulnerabilities. One, because we defensively, we've been solid the whole season. Defensively, we've been solid the whole season. This game showed our vulnerabilities, and uh, and Una Emery watched that game, and he tried to utilize that also today. So, team, and, so, so that was, that's, I'll give them their credit. The two results that we've had back-to-back, Similar situations in where we've conceded chances and we've given away the uh, the goals. Where I am more frustrated is our attack today, and that is on the manager and the players that didn't that didn't were not effective in the final third. We can talk about Bakayo Saka. I thought Odegaard was on point. He created the chances in the second half. Taking Odegaard off was also some stupid mistake from the manager. I'll give you guys there. Where I come back is why does it that the fact that this result happened, why does it always go straight to the manager needs to be sacked? Why can't we look at the individual players in the team that can be improved upon? As you guys have said, we can improve on El Nini. You always say we can improve on KBR. You always say we can improve on these guys. Why don't we look at that as a, 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 as a, as a benchmark and say that the shell is good? It's just we need to improve on certain areas. The attack is a place where we've needed to improve on for years. So why is he only signed one striker? And that's Jay Zeus that ain't a striker. Why is he only ever signed one because, right winger, which is Marquinhos? Because sometimes, because sometimes you need to build from the defense up. You can't just go and sign a shiny toy striker, put him in a team, or else you're going to have Man United. Yeah, but at the same time, when you got limited funds, you make sure that those signings are correct. Klopp didn't start wasting money at the start of his rebuild. To you want to know something? Corners. You guys would have told me. Trying players that haven't made it, Egal. This is the thing, yeah? Nobody's expecting... Let me, let me just rebuttal no, to that no one point. point. I'll be two hold on, let, me just, let me just say, and I'll let you go, yeah? All I'm saying is this, Egal, it's been too long. And the thing is, yeah, Marquinhos didn't work out, yeah? So there's a lot of players that he's brought in, Fabi Vieira. You know what I'm saying? Re-keeping Reese Nelson, re-keeping certain players is just as bad as bringing in new players that are not good enough. Too many times he's brought in players that are not good enough, which is why we've got an ineffective bench. More time we talk about our starting eleven and not our bench. And when we need to rely on that bench, that bench doesn't come through for us. Like against Porto, we had to take it to penalties. Like against Bayern, we weren't able to beat a game that we had the chances to beat them. When we're the team with better form, when they've got the manager that already knows he's leaving. You can't keep justifying bad signings, bro. Kai Havertz is a bad signing because for the money, it's not good enough. 
Hey, and it cost us in January signing. because of PSR, profit and sustainability rules. Yeah, it cost us in January spending 65 M's on him. Okay, yeah, I'm not gonna go back to the J, uh, the Havertz thing because I feel like Havertz overall, from a draw uh, for, for what I was expecting, he's done better than that. So I'll give him credit for where he's uh, for what he's delivered. What I'm gonna say about the signings is. We can all sit here and remember when we didn't sign Mudrick and we didn't sign Caicedo last Thanks. January. I'm pretty sure yeah, every single one of you guys. All about Mudrick when you all hyping him up, by the way. I told yeah, you. Yeah, one second, one second. My point is, every single one of us probably said last January was a bad January. Am I wrong? No, this January was just as bad. No, yeah? no. And, I said, and I've said for both of them Januarys, this will show whether Arsenal, yeah, the mentality of whether we want to win, yeah. Or not, it showed the ambition of this football club. I said it last January, just gone. But the January before, I said it after no, that January, yeah, where we flopped and we were. The reason why we didn't spend money in January, this January, is because of the whole profit and sustainability and how the. Oh, yeah, why? Right? Because they spent it on players that ain't good enough. Lokonga, Thank you. Abi Vieira, Marquinhos, all these players that you said we have to do. Okay, that we don't. Bro, when you have we, limited we, money, one second, we can agree because we can agree on Lokonga and Fabio Vieira. A guy, when you're self-sustaining, you will run out of money because you're self-sustaining. This is why you have to make sure that your flipping profile and the players that you get in hit the mark. You can't accommodate for... You can't take a half like chance. You have to buy the real deal, bro. Bro, bro you want to know something? Fabio Vieira. Fabio Vieira and Lokonga Vieira and Lokonga Vieira and Vieira and Lokonga Vieira and Lokonga Vieira and Lokonga Vieira and Lokonga Agal, you can't take away the fact that he's got it wrong with many players that he's brought into the no, club. No, but that's and not the, the reason why we lost us in Villa. It's because of FFP, the fact that we... No, but it's the reason we don't win anything, Agal, because they're the bench players. Bro, they're not our bench players. Well, Fabio, Fabio Vieira, Vieira is. So is Reece They're not our bench player. Don't, this is one why our bench is this bad, though. One second. You, if you're going to make five... Players, no. if, one second. Let, let, if you're going to make let, five let, substitutions, let, if you're going to make five substitutions from our bench today... And, and you look at the unused subs. I'm telling you right now, Partey should have uh, Partey should be ahead of Fabio Vieira. Or what do you call it? Kavior should be ahead of Fabio Vieira. Jorginho should be ahead of him. Martinelli, Tomiyasu. That's just our bench today. And most okay, okay, okay. Stop, stop one second. Stop one second. So that's 35 million, yeah, and 80 grand a week wasted then. I yeah? don't care we're about talking that about profit and sustainability, bro. Yeah, now I, I didn't Konga and all these other men. Yeah, Tavaj... Yeah, and in all these other players, we've wasted money. Well, why are we on a wild goose chase over transfers that have already happened? Because we these can... are our bench players, Agal, and this is why we couldn't sign what anyone in January. Because we've spent this much money on shit that we don't even utilize because they're not trusted by the manager. I'm, I'm not trusting him, but guess what? My opinions are relevant. The manager does not bring Reese Nelson off the bench. He gave him five mil up front and a hundred grand a week new contract. Yeah, he gave Eddie a hundred grand a week. New contract. Throw a tennis ball in the park, the dog chases it. That's Eddie and Ketty okay, on the foot. And, and that is the reason why we one have second. an ineffective bench. You're saying that we don't use them, Miguel. I hear that. But Miguel, we hit FFP, which means we can't now spend money on players that we could use no, no, on the I bench. I just want to bring it back to the bench, bench two seconds. Let me, let me just say one thing and I'm going to shut up, yeah? But the thing is, you're you going to go to another us. point. And no, I'm gonna say, use say, when I said about them, you're saying that we, we don't use them. They're not our bench. We don't use them. But this is why we have an ineffective bench. So indirectly, it does affect us because no, because we spend money on them. We can't spend money in January because of FFP, which means that we have an ineffective bench. So signing them has hindered us getting players that could be used on the bench to get us the win today or get us the win okay, against Bayern. You, 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 you don't. So you it don't get. Us now. You don't. You don't get to the level of competition that we've been in this season and the level that we've played at this season without utilizing your squad. We do have a decent sized squad. You just don't rate the players to the level that uh, other people rate them to. For example, Jorginho and Partey are technically bench uh, bench players for majority of the season, but they rotate in and out of the lineup. Tom Yasu is a bench player, but he rotates in and out of the lineup. Martinelli is actually a starter. So this game, we've actually had guys like Trussard and Jesus who've technically been bench players this season coming in and out of the side. If I give you uh, Zinchenko, who is an in, uh, who's been injured and has basically was one of our best left backs last year, this year is a bench player. The the real thing is we don't have 
we don't have a starting 11 to set this season because so many players have come in and out of form that our bench players have turned into our starters. That's why you guys are somewhat getting okay, confused. Cool. So if the bench. bench is good enough, then this manager should win a major honor then because you're Once, saying it's good enough. This is so the thing, though. Exactly. This is the thing, though. I don't have an issue with the squad right now or the squad construction. I don't have an issue with the manager. What I have an issue with is the mentality. I think the mentality is the problem, and that only changes when you actually get over the line. And the way you get over the line is by building good habits. We've built good habits throughout the season. We've we've built good characters. We've been able to uh, to set up uh, set up games correctly defensively and finish off teams early in games away from home. What happened? Wrong, what was wrong today was he made too many changes, and then it got away from the flow of how we've been playing for the whole season. The manager made the mistake for making too many changes and bringing in guys like Zinchenko back into the side, putting Havertz in the midfield, having a left side full of players who so haven't played together mentality. for a you're whole month. Mentality. Yeah, mentality. Cool. When Conte went to Chelsea, they didn't win the league. They weren't expected to win the league with the team he took over. He's the one that instilled the mentality for them to get over the line, even though he but didn't that team, play. But that team... That is, no, that's not the only example. That's not the no, only no, example. No, 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 no. You cannot compare. Right? You cannot compare but a team that won the league the year before. Mentality comes from the manager. Lampard before the, the Conte said this team, team. No, actually, with Tuchel as well. With Tuchel. Tuchel took over a team that Lampard set to the players that this team is unable to win major honors. Tuchel comes in and wins the Champions League. The mentality was already set by the manager. So not only that, me, just because you're not expected. Sorry, Northside. Yeah, just because you're not expected to win something and you're not the favorite to win something, because the media. All the pundits, who cares what Gary Neville says? He ain't stopping Arsenal winning anything. Who cares what I say or us on this panel in the chat say? Just because you're not expected to win something doesn't mean you can't. Yeah? Mm -hmm. But guess what? Somebody with a fucking CV, a track record proven winner, has more chance than, yes, a rookie. It's not rocket science. So then when the rookie don't get over the line... There's excuse after excuse. It's like an onion. You're unpeeling the onion. No, no, but do you, layer you after gotta, layer. Come on, let's be real. Hey, Gail, how long? How, I want a straight answer, yeah? And yeah. big up everyone locked in. 3.2 in here. Make sure you sub to all the guys. I can't get all their links in the title, so I'm going to okay. put them in the um, description. I'll give you a yeah? straight answer. I know what you're going to ask. How long before you hold this manager accountable? Because your words that I'm holding you accountable to, yeah, because everyone holds me accountable, but so I'm going to hold you accountable. How long, yeah, does it take before you call this manager out for failing to do what is required at the third biggest club in England, by the way, because if he don't win nothing this year, that is four full seasons. How many more full seasons does he get until you call him out? I'm kicking the can down the road for next season to give him to, to uh, give him the ability to actually get a striker in. So you're going back on what you said last season or the start yes, of this season? And, and two reasons why. One, I've seen adequate improvement. And, uh, oh, in this get out of here, man! I, have, get out. Please, please. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what you guys want to tell me. Failure, 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 failure. Without, failure. I've seen well, that a bit of I'm here, guys. Give me my chance to speak. Let, let, I, let, I, let, I, let, I, let, I you guys don't I'm for coming me. on because this is like Marcel on Saeed's channel, bro. It's just pure delusion off of emotion because you think. That somehow no, 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 we're so bro, close to city. We're not. Just we're miles yeah. away. One second. If you look at the points, I, yes, we don't have as many points. I, if you I, if you look I, at the points, we don't have as many points, but we have more goals and we have more uh, and we have uh, we have a better defense. The thing is, right, I've been watching you, yeah, and I've I've been seeing what you've been saying, yeah. The only right, reason I'm you're on here tonight is because of Jez, by the way, because Jez said to me, yo, I was watching a girl and uh, he put a comment and I said, yo, I like a girl. I actually got no problem with you, bro. You know this. And I was like, yo, yeah, 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 you. let's go, yeah, which is why you're here. Yeah. Go on, Jez, sorry, go on, Jez, go on, go on. I'm actually giving you bloody super chats in the last couple of weeks. No, because I had a German, I had a Bayern fan on. I had a Bayern fan, man, who was talking crazy. <laughs> don't, 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 don't give me this, this, this nonsensical statement, right? Time is done, right? The time is done. Right, he's had everything he's wanted, like a little kid. Right, he's had seven hundred odd million pounds. Right, he's cocked it again, Egal. Come on, man, wise up. Say it as a you know, man up to it. Right, you. Yeah, you know, I was ready to say I um, apologize to Atta if he won the league. That's the thing, yeah. Right. You can, oh, you I, can, I, you I can say that. Out, 
I said to my girl, my girl's an Arsenal fan as well, yeah? Born in, well, born in Hackney, raised 95% of her life in, in Islington. I said to her today, a girl, yeah? If Arteta wins, yeah, I'm not. My channel will still keep going. I'll still do videos, and I apologize and say, you know what, Arteta, you did what I wanted you to do. Prove me wrong. You've proved but, me wrong. But both sets of fans have to be able to do the same thing. The managers failed this season. We all had the expectation to win a major honor. If he he looks like he's not going to win a major, I don't think so. If he does it's in a gal, it's, yeah, it's not over. But if he does in a gal, based on your own words, you have to be humble enough to say, do you know what, I was wrong. You would expect it from me and Lee. If he won this season, let's be Make real. Make your apologies as loud as your disrespect to me. You yeah? would be saying, Lee, <laughs> and listen, side, you've been I'm not going to not gonna then say I want him You sacked. guys have to say sorry. Would you not say that? You would once say that. Okay, so Adele, how if many more years? One Liga more Champions year you're saying, yeah? One second. Yeah. If we don't win the League of Champions League, I'm not going to sit here and say I want him sacked, though. No, but you're in your words at the very start of the season and multiple times, I can go back and find the clips because so I have receipts and I know Northside does. You said, like most, not all, but a lot of active Arsenal fans. Yeah, this is the season we really judge Arteta on. If he doesn't win anything this season, then sadly it's time to go. Yeah. So now you're backtracking. You know what's on that. changed? I told what's you changed what is your emotional connection to the club. Yeah, based off of oh well, we've been leading. Okay, I'll give you we, three we, we logical got, points. We, we drew with Bayern. Those, let me know. Go on, tell me, tell me what your my three is, points is one. Bayern. I still think this team is going to be there and thereabouts next season, no matter what what happens with anything yeah, with the, with our recruitment or anything. And I think Arteta is a crucial part to our recruitment and continuously building this team. Number two, Klopp leaving open it just extends our window of opportunity to continue oh, to win and be competitive. Hell. Yeah, so because Liverpool, because I I don't see Liverpool being there and thereabouts. And finally, I think our attack will be sorted. Because one what thing, does I not leaving make a difference to Arsenal. What it makes it a make massive difference. difference. It doesn't make a bloody difference. It, it does. It does. No, how? You tell me. Many, how does it I, make a difference? Because they, go, oh, they beat us in the league no, cup. They beat us in the league cup semi final the year no, they won no, it. Finish, yeah, finish, fair enough. Just because go on, go on. Please, right? Does that be make nice to chat to a gal as well? Coming, he's got the balls to come on, bro. No, don't worry, bro. Difference. Let them let them be them. Be you. If you no, don't no, like let, me, it's okay. listen, my community is a real community. Sorry, Jez, sorry, one second. Jez, sorry, one second, bro. One second. Listen, a girl's actually giving up his time, yeah? He's got yeah, two okay. kids and a wife. He's giving up his time, people, yeah? It's half past ten in the UK. He's giving up his time to come on the channel. Whether we agree with him or not, and I say it all the time, I disagree with 99.9% .9 of what he says. Fair I'm play for putting the camera on. Giving up his time and coming on. So anyone in the chat striking him off, be nice, yeah? Don't be a dickhead about it. No, I'm not saying... No, Jez, one second, sorry. I'm not having a go at you, Jez, I'm saying. In the chat, just be nice to it. Don't... If you don't want... If you don't agree with him, cool. But let's not take the piss, in it. Yeah. Yeah? yeah. He's got his camera on. He's come on a channel. Yeah? I disagree. Most of us disagree. But at least he's here. Because most of these fans, yeah, that twerk and up and down and all of this and back everything, don't have a face. Yeah, at least he's here, isn't it? So make sure you sub to a girl's channel. It's in the description. No, no, go on, Jez, no. go on. I'm not being disrespectful to Egal. No, no it's being... not you, bro. I was, I was subscribed to his channel. And I, no, come oh, on. I look at what he says. It's not you, Jez. It's not you. The point is... Egal, you know, ignore I'm the chat, bro. I've just told him straight. Come on. I don't... I don't... I don't... I, I, I invited you on my channel. I did. If you couldn't make it because it was a, a Muslim holiday, and I respect you for he, that, bro. Yeah. yeah. But the fact is... The fact that Klopp is leaving, right? I, I don't agree with your argument. That'll make it easier for Arsenal. I don't get you, man. I don't understand okay. what you're talking about. Simply I put, don't. simply put, sure. Sir Alex Ferguson left, there is a decline. Arsene Wenger left, there is a decline. When, when you have legendary managers leave a club, especially with other players potentially looking to leave with him exiting and, and th them being at the end of their cycle... Who is going to be there and thereabouts next season? I think Arsenal, guys, even if we don't win the league this season and we still keep everything the same and we go into the next season with, with a new striker and Mikel Arteta and this squad, I think we're going to be there and thereabouts. And no matter what anybody says on this channel, I genuinely believe Arsenal will be still challenging for the league next season. What we need to do is get over that hump. If you're saying a manager change is the only thing that's going to get us over that hump, I disagree. I think a striker change and an overall polishing of the rest of the squad will get us there. And I still believe this team right now, we're so close 
The only thing that's stopping us at times is that lack of experience and that lack of mentality. The thing is, and that that can only come with time. We're not interested in being there or thereabouts again. It's time to get over the line, bro. We're sick of being the bridesmaid, yeah? We want to be the bride for once. Get us over the line, yeah? Manager has to do that, bro. And he can still do it. There or there. How many more years? Bro, Xavi Alonso has just gone before I get Matty in as well. And listen, big up to everyone dropping super chats in. Yeah? And listen, the flow of the show is just going. I just wanted it to flow, yeah? So if you want to put them in, put them in. If you don't, I ain't asking for them. I ain't that channel, bruv. Yeah, big up to everyone who is. Yeah, big up to everyone who's locked in. 3.4K inside. Smash the like button. All the guys' links are in the description. I couldn't get them all in the title. Their names are all in the title, but I couldn't get their links in there, yeah? However, if I don't reply to you um, verbally, it'll be a reply in, and thank you and replying to your comment on the Super Chat. Yeah, be respectful to everyone here. Yeah, we're not here to like kick off and swear and scream and shout at each other. Yeah, we're here to have a debate. And big up to a gal for coming on. Big up to everyone giving up their time. Jez, Brandon, Northside, and Matty as well. Right? But, bro, real talk. Xavi Alonso, before I bring Matty in, has gone to Bayer Leverkusen up against the best. They are the Man United under Fergie. Nobody could beat them. They win everything every year. And not only that, if they want your best player, they're having them. They were Fergie, Man United. Arsene Wenger come into the league and done what Xavi Alonso's done. So why can't this guy do it against Pep? Tell me. I, th- I think you have to just look at the state of where the team was at when he first yeah, came but the in. team's at this stage now. Right now, we're still we're still not done. By Leverkusen, they never won a league title ever, by the way. I know. By, by Leverkusen, by the way. I'm, I'm not going to compare, I'm not gonna compare out, different leagues. When you say about Arsenal being in a mess, right, when Arteta took over, Bayer Leverkusen were in the relegation zone. <laughs> I'm not going to compare it. I'm not gonna compare Bundesliga to, to the Premier League. It's all relative, though, Miguel. It's all relative. Yes, the league's less, like, bet it's not as good as the Premier League, but it's all relative. You're going to buy Munich are one of the biggest five clubs on the planet. Yeah? Fact. They're one of the biggest five clubs on the planet. Last time they went without a trophy in a season was 12 years ago or 13 years ago. They've won 11 straight titles, bro. They've won Champions League, six of them. So based on your knowledge, uh, based on your point, we should want the manager sacked because he's unable to do what Xavi did. No, it's not. No, because you're twisting it now. This manager has had four and a half years. He's had four full seasons. If he ends this season with nothing, that is four full seasons. Name me another massive club that is deemed a massive club. Yeah, Everyone's gassing up our players. Everyone's gassing up Odegaard, the centre-backs, Ben White, Saka, Martinelli, Rice, all these players. Name me another massive football club, global football club, Yeah, that allows a manager to go four years trophy list without sacking them. There ain't one, bro. Real Madrid has sacked 10 out of the last 17 inside 50 games. Listen to this mad stat very quickly. Ancelotti is in his second spell at Real Madrid. He's managed 50 games over two spells more than Super Mick has at Arsenal. That tells you all you need to know about the levels, bro. They've said the 10 of the thing about, in the 50 games. The thing about uh, the, who have been the most successful Premier League clubs outside of Chelsea that have sacked managers? Say that again. Has any Premier League club breeded success outside of Chelsea by constantly sacking managers? Which team has had a youth project and won the league? <laughs> no, but this is no longer. Okay, a then project. let's move on because this was. No, but this is no longer a youth project. You're talking. You're talking. You're talking. Hold up. Wait one second. Yeah, you're talking off of the back of Arsene Wenger. Yeah, Klopp, who's won one title by the way, the same as Super Mick if he wins it this year, same as Ranieri, Pellegrini, and Dalglish. He's won one title. Right. One title, one league title, yeah? Right? You're going off of the back of Arsene Wenger and Fergie being 26, 22 years or whatever, yeah? Right? Cool. Now go to the most successful clubs in the world, bruv. Yeah? In Europe is basically world football, South American leagues, and yeah, they're cool. Yeah? Right? But let me tell you now. Real Madrid, Barcelona, PSG recently, yeah? And Bayern Munich. Chelsea have had 17 managers in the last 20 years. Bayern Munich have had 16, and Real Madrid have had 17. Barcelona, I think, have had in that time eight or nine. 
they're the most successful clubs. They uh, understand, and not only that, other than Chelsea, yeah, other than Chelsea, the other three that I mentioned are all run by their fans, bruv. They're all owned by the fans. Real Madrid are run like by their fans, which is why they're elite. Lee, United did it as well. Man United. Back in the day, they did, yeah. My point is, winning in the Premier League is built off sustained success. And the way it can be done is by building a team and having a manager be part of that process to help build that team and, and continue to have that success. Bro, he's not City, a puppy. He's a manager. He's not, he's not, a, he's not a pet. How yeah, many projects do, how I many teams had a project that I failed? I personally the don't think failed. the Brendan Rodgers project failed. The Bielsa one, project one failed. There's a lot of projects around in the Premier League that and failed. And there's also one more thing I forgot. Also, how did I forget this? There's so many managers uh, currently out. There's so many clubs currently that are going to be sacking their managers. The managerial pool is going to be very oh, small. They're sacking them. Why? Trust the process. No, no, no. You have Bayern Munich sacking their manager. Manchester Why? United is going to be potentially sacking their manager. Liverpool's manager is going to have to be replaced. Barcelona's manager has already decided he's going to resign at the end of the season. So you have four different clubs that are going to be hunting for the same bracket of managers. Well, better than all of them, apparently. I personally think if Arteta was to leave Arsenal this season, he would be the prized asset out of the whole managerial pool outside of the yeah, world. Good. I beg he goes Barca, bruv, yeah? Because Xavi is a legend of that football club and he can't hack the pressure from the media, hence why he's quit. And he won a league title. I, I, think, I think you guys are judging Arteta solely on... No, this guy never won a league title. title as a player. How's he going to win one as a manager? One second. We're judging but him to the pedestal that a lot of fans put him Are you, you going to at least acknowledge... Judgment. Are you going to at least acknowledge what Arteta has got in this team, the level that he's got in this team too? He's got us back to the level we were at under Arsene Wenger without the FA Cups. No, we weren't at this level with Arsene Wenger. Bro, we were getting top leaving. four under Arsene Wenger, which no, is when why he was leaving. When he was leaving, were we at this level? Bro, Arsene Wenger, let me tell you, I've done this before on a stream here because you just brought up a great point. Sorry, mate. I know you're ready to go. Right, no, no, bro. I'm just, I'm in jump. Right. Think of that, man. The five seasons before Mikel Arteta, yeah, we had Arsene Wenger and Unai Emery. Go and have a look at the five seasons in cup competitions domestically, league finishes, yeah, and in Europe, right? Now go and have a look at the five seasons near, near five seasons, four and a half, under this manager. They've outdone the five seasons before Arteta are better statistically. Why? Because we won two trophies, bro. We also got a Europa there? League semi-final. We also got to a League Cup final. We also got, yeah, we also finished second. To Leicester, yeah, bro. Just sorry, I'm lying. That's way back, yeah. But if you look at our league finishes, bro, I don't give a shit if we finish 12. I've seen my club finish 12, and we won two cups under George Graham that season. So have you, Jez. So have you, Matty. Yeah, right. We've seen Arsenal finish 12 and win the cup double, bro. Do you know why Arsenal are considered a big club? It's based on trophies, Egal. It's not based on oh, but we put the pressure on. We were laughing at Tottenham for doing this under Poch. Oh, bro. Let's not let's not do this Tottenham thing again. We're not doing but that. We are basically going that's on. That's not like what Tottenham. we're doing because Tottenham get praised for doing shit. So do we. No, every, no we every, don't. Every time, every time somebody comes out in the media and criticizes Arsenal or a player of Arsenal, Arsenal hate is real. Oh, the agenda. All of our fans all over the internet, not just Terry, big up Tell, sub to football terrorists, but all of our fans, oh, they hate us. The media hate us. No. The media have seen us bottle everything for 20 years. Okay, yeah, fair when enough. we get over the line, and I've been there when we got over the line, 04, 02, 98, 91. Bro, yeah, you said something, years, I need to call you out on one thing. Off. You said one thing I need to call you out on. When has our defence been this good? In those in those Arsene Wenger years. When has our attack scored 75 goals after 32 games? It's irrelevant. When have we been on 71 points after 32 games since, since like invincible times? These, these performances and consistency that we're building in the league, the good habits that we're building, you cannot tell me, Lee, even if Arteta is not sacked, you expect Arsenal to be challenging for the title next season, regardless if Arteta gets sacked or not. Am I wrong? No, you're not wrong. One second there, yeah, because Brandon's got to go. Brandon, love my guy. Thanks for jumping on. Uh, make sure you sub to True Gunners TV. Hey, Brandon. Link in the description. And thanks for coming on. I right, big up to everyone who's um, who's link, uh, live. Uh, live. Everyone who's watching live. Uh, but big up to Brandon. Hey, Gail, yeah? Just because we scored more goals and got a better defence now, yeah, if we end up resulting with no trophies at the end of it, it is irrelevant. You, no, it's not. 
Well, it is because what's the aim of the game? It's not to have the best the defense. Aim, the, the aim of the game is to get to the trophies. And in order to get to the trophies, you have to build good habits. You have to get more goals. You have to get a better defense. You have to get a better squad. You have to get a good, good habits to get, get to a manager. That level. And that's what we've been doing. You have to get a better manager. And you want to know something? We have one of the best managers in world football right now. We don't because he's won one we trophy do. out of 16. Because attempts. he hasn't won anything, you're going to say that. But majority of so, yeah, there we go. People, that's like me saying I've got the best girl on the planet, bro. And she's a seven out of 10. Yeah. No, but, but guess there, what? You know she ain't. She, she ain't because there's no everyone, everyone knows. Everyone knows. For example, you go to Leverkusen, they have one of the best up, young, up and coming players and best up and coming managers. Everyone knows that. <laughs> The, they didn't. They didn't need to win the goddamn league for everyone to see how good uh, how good Shabby is and how good Florian Witzer is. So why is he staying? The reason because why he's staying. Now, you said yourself, there's four or five clubs that are going to need a manager. So why is he not left? Because he can go to a bigger club. Because Leverkusen, that's their first trophy title. Sorry, in their history. He wants to become a club legend. No, no, no. He don't. He don't. Real Madrid have said to him, "You do that again next season, you can come to us. But until you prove yourself again, you ain't coming to us, bro." Me, can I just say something to you? Go on, Jez. Now I'll bring Matty in, yeah? Do you remember what it, uh, Jules Graham did, Egal? Yeah. Yeah. In, in his in his entirety, in the time he was there. In Against the, first, the better Liverpool team, by the way. In, 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 like, what he won? Liverpool were better than Pep City right now. I know they didn't do a treble. But that uh, remember team. This, yes. I, I was, I, I've done I've done streams with Kenny Ken and he's lectured me on George Graham, so I know a lot about George Graham. Yeah, that Liverpool team back then were the best team in the world. Yeah, I'm, I'm George not, Graham not, ended their dominance. Go on, Jez. Sorry, Jez. Go on. Go on. I'm not calling you out on the knowledge. I'm just saying to you what he achieved in a lesser period of time, right? Than what Mikola has done. So you have to say, you have to ask yourself, as a sensible Arsenal fan, right, Mikel Arteta has achieved basically F all in the time he's been at the club. When you compare to what Arsene Wenger did, Arsene Wenger, second year, what did he achieve? 18 months in, bang, double. Yeah. And then two years later, another double, right? So at the end of the day, you have to say, this guy has had his time, time to move on. It's, but not, the thing personal, is you can't... it's not personal, but at the end of the day, you have to say, you've had your time, fella. You've capitulated today. You've got you've had enough up. time. Bye. See ya. Don't you, don't, you, don't you see that that could be... That could be more detrimental to how we continue to build the no. squad and, no. and, and how no. the team could go. No. Like, don't no, we don't get a manager team. with a proven track record rather than a rookie that's learning on the job. Okay, that who would you excuses for? I hate, no. I hate this thing where we just say bring in a manager on. and everything's going to be better. You have to move on. Yeah, but Miguel, you, if you if you look at these other clubs, yeah, if you look at these other clubs that we're talk, we're trying to compete with the Real Madrids, the Man Cities, all these other clubs, yeah, right, Barcelona's. Chelsea, not Chelsea so much now, but we're talking about top level football clubs, yeah? Bro, they understand yeah, that a manager is a paid employee, yeah? Chelsea, under Abramovich, had that mentality, which is why their fans had that mentality. When the, when Real, Real Madrid hired Rafa Benitez, bro, he was gone inside 50 games. Bang, see you later. Guess what? Guess what? Have they stopped winning? No. Why? Because their fans hold them to account, yeah? If we were booing our players today, after 20 minutes when we were dropping a shit show, oh, you're toxic and negative. Real Madrid fans were booing Vinny fucking Jr. a week after winning a fucking trophy, uh, after scoring a hat-trick, bro. This is the club we're trying to aspire personally, to be. Personally, I don't think... I don't think... I don't think constantly right, changing right, your manager right, breeds right, as much success they, as you guys think. Are they true fans? Are they true fans? Tell me that. No, they're not. Because they all come down, right, on their little trains, yeah, to uh, finish. They're all walking out, Jez. Yeah. On, I honestly, I honestly, I'm not going to police. If they're true fans. No, shut up. One second. Sorry, mate. I'm, I'm not going to police. I'm, I'm not going to police if fans. They're true fans. If they're true fans, fella, right, they would be in that ground, yeah, booing that team off the park. They're plastic, fake fans. Not One exactly. Second. 
I'm, I'm not gonna. Never, I'm not gonna call out. I'm not gonna call out. To be fair. One no, second. To be fair, no, no, I'm not going to call out other fans because there's going to be right fans. Day, I've never seen that, right? When I when I was in the North Bank, right, for 41 Seven. sodding years, right, never, ever we walked out, yeah? Never. And the Facts. fact that he stand, that he stand, we're walking out again, right, 2-2, two, 2-2, two, 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 right, against the other night, and then 2-0 yeah. down. Two nil walking down, out 10 two minutes to go. 2-0 down, no, that two down, right? Why were they not in there booing that team off the park? Why were they? Why were they? You're right to call people out. They're real fans. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Let him answer. Let him answer. You're right to call people out. I wouldn't call people. I'm having my say. I'm having my say right now. I'm having my say. Ego, you can talk in a minute. At the end of the day, real (laughs) fans stay in the ground and they give it to them. Right? I stood those terraces for since 1967. As a little kid, and I was in the instant at Highbury, right? We never, ever, ever walked out that ground, right? And the fact is, those plastics today walking out are 2 0. And they weren't booing the team, they weren't booing them, right? They should be giving it. And they're walking out because they're all getting their bloody trains out to the bloody shires because they're not North London fans. Boo them. I would boo every single one of them, right? I spoke to Kenny about it, right? And they are absolute shit show. They're quite happy to go out their prawn sandwiches. They can't even be bothered, Egal, right, to get in their seats to the start of the second half. Right? I was watching that today, yeah? Speaking to a couple of mates that are there, and they, they were disgusted. Oh, they're still you know, walking in. They're coming down the stairs, you know. Oh, right. Yeah, oh, 50 third ago. You were watching that on TV. 53rd five, minute. Sorry, mate. I know you want to jump in. in. 55 minutes in. Right. Yeah. 55 the stadium minutes. was half empty because they're all on the concourse. Unfortunately. Unfortunately. Sorry. Right in last season, they were walking out after 78 minutes. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, three you have a, one, you, sorry, you one second. You have a season one ticket. Second, yeah, one second. One second ago, one second. They're I was not Arsenal seconds, fans. Right? They're not my, Arsenal my, fans. My, one of my best pals, Jay, yeah, his dad, big up John, right? He's had a season ticket still to this day. He was at the game today. 51 years he's had a season ticket since he was nine. Yeah. When we played the last game of the season and slapped up Wolves, and everyone, it was a love fest for Granite Shaka. We want you to stay. We want you to stay, Granite Shaka. He was walking out, right? All of the people around him, all older lot as well. Oh, John, where you going, mate? Because ain't, ain't you staying for the? Ain't you staying for the lap of honour? He went the lap of what? He goes fucking load of bollocks, mate. He goes we fucking bottled it. Lap of what? What am I celebrating second for? Yeah, they were like, oh, you're so fine. These are people that have been going for fifty years with him. Yeah, this is the PR in your heads, guys. Yeah, <laughs> second place. Oh, but it's Pep, and I've said this. All season, if we lose the title to Klopp, it'll be, well, Klopp's leaving. Yeah, he finished above Pep. Oh, my God, give him another half a billion. Yeah, if he loses to City, to City yeah, it'll be, oh, well, the charges. Charges, oh, nobody can win it. It's a fucking farmer's league. How about hold him accountable, bro? Come on. Yeah, there's loads of managers out there that can do better than this guy, bro. Yeah, come on, uh, Matty. Go on, speak, man. Speak, you, Matty. You know, I, I just, I just got through playing with some of my, my mates. Especially his likes, I'll be your diputas. And the, uh, lead, the buddy, that, the buddy that I was telling you about yesterday is a Leeds fan. He came right up to me when I went out there today. He, he said, "Man, y'all in trouble." Did and you score know, today, Matty? Did you score? Oh, man, we, we got our ass kicked today. <laughs> <laughs> you got our ass kicked. Good fashion, today, bro. Good fashion. Trust me. Good fashion today. But uh. You know, I was talking to my buddy that played with me. That's a Newcastle fan. I told him, and I'm gonna say this too. And people, are, people are looking at this game. Let me, let me paint this picture. Do you know that Aston Villa is only eight points behind us? Do you realize that? Do people realize Aston Villa is sitting right there, uh, right on, right on our back? If we drop any more games, and it's not, I don't put it past Arsenal to go from first all the way to fifth because we do stupid stuff like that. We have sat here all season. Me, Lee, Northside, 
We have complained. We have told people about. We've complained about the issues in this team. And the day it was on full display. I sat on the phone with Lee for over three hours yesterday, going over stuff. Wait, mate, one we second. Come. The girl needs to yeah. go. Yeah. Okay. And that girl needs to go. I'm listening, the girl. Big up for coming on, man. Big yeah, up. because most That's of the people yeah. that are back in it and all of this that have the opposite view won't come on. So big up to you. Sub yeah, to a yeah. gal talk football. Yeah, and thanks for coming on. Shout out what you got coming up real quick. Uh, I got a video tomorrow with a crazy Byron fan, Brian Ryan. He's absolutely nuts. He fought Jez yesterday at the other time in the chat. That's does, the guy. Does, he, has he been slagging off Harry Kane this season or Kim Min Jay? Uh, oh, of course he has. Of course he no, has. Bro, the, guy, the, guy, the, the guy, the guy was telling me that Alfonso, uh, Alfonso Davis is, is ass, and I, I didn't believe him until. Yeah, until thank you, thank you, standards, brother. I was shocked. Anyways, I'm out of here, guys. You guys have a good one. Hopefully, this result doesn't give us a headache and we don't lose the next game. I pray to God we win that game. Big up for coming on, man. Sub to a gal talks football, people. And thank you for giving me your time as well. I know you got a little one as well, man. The newborn and that. Yeah, big up to you. He's sleeping now. Don't worry about that. Have a good one. All right, mate. I was sleeping during the game. But but you know we 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 have sat here, Lee. And we've seen this unfold. All four of us have, have preached this gospel all year. And I, I just, for me, man, we this is year four. Eighth, fifth, fifth, ball, ball, a, a, title, a title charge last year, and we ball it again this year. That that on, that on that alone is sackable. It's time to move this guy on, y'all. It's time to move this guy on. I've had enough of it. It's every year. It's the same old thing. In August, judge him in May. Judge him in April. Judge him in May. And next year, it comes back around when it's time to judge. Oh, well, let's give him some more time. Oh, I'll he, give him some more money. He needs some more players. Oh, the he just needs to in peace. He needs a striker. One, almost $1 billion on players. And something went past me today, Lee, during the broadcast. I didn't think about it until I was driving out to the pitch. What is this fool bringing on Eddie and Ketia for? <laughs> in that situation. <laughs> oh, I said this before. What was he going to do? I said this, mate, yeah. I said, I've said this so many times, right? If you throw a tennis ball in the park when there's a dog running around, yeah, the dog chases the tennis ball, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> yes. That's a Ian Kett here, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, brother, I mean, you look at that. Everything was sideways today. I, I just couldn't believe. I was telling my buddy today, I said, I said, brother, he took Odegaard off. Who was doing the work? He took him off. I swear, I swear down, I feel like this was a match fixing scandal. Like, I, we're going to hear about this on the news. This is going to be on 60 Minutes in about three years. They're going to do an expose on this, on how this manager threw this game today. I, I just, I'm tired of it, man. I am mentally tired of dealing with this guy. I'm tired of some of these players. I was telling some of the guys in my other chat, I was saying, it's time to move on these folks. Hey, Zeus. You know, it's time to bring in competition for soccer. Martinelli is one I'm starting to get tired of. You know, we, we have it's so many. He is. Yeah, he, he, he's, he's regressing. You know, all these players. Bayern Munich made really, really woke this team up to how far they are off the, off the pace. And, we, and I said this on the, prop, uh, on the watch along, yeah? Right? And I know you guys were busy doing your own thing as well, yeah? Right, check this. Big up to everyone locked in as well. 3.3 in this. Smash these likes up. Sub like to all the, the guys. Up. The links are in the description, yeah? I said this on the watch long. Bayern Munich have battered our season. They're, they've finished our season because that was genuinely the biggest game we've had under this manager. That's the biggest game he's ever managed, right? And this is some of the biggest games some of these players have ever been in, yeah? And guess what? They shit the life out of us, and we haven't recovered, bro. I we told you, recovered. I told you the other nightly. Right, I said, right, I, I told you about Zinchenko. I told y'all. I said, what? What I told y'all? I said, Zinchenko and Jesus coming this, in this team is going to cost us the season. What you saw today? Zinchenko again. This love affair with Zinchenko. I mean, just absolutely a bottle job. One of the worst players I've ever seen at Arsenal. One of the worst. Matt, he's trying to bring on ESR with Jorginho. We ain't seen that combination all season, bro, to save a game where we're losing. Make that make sense. When, when, when me, when, when me and Lee... that makes sense, bro? It's <laughs> like Man you bringing Diallo on when they need a goal, bro, yeah? Like, after you don't play him. Do you know It's hey, true. Man, let's just put Van der Sar in midfield and see what he do. Let's see what he can do. I mean, that's that's where we at. Let's just take <laughs> Van der Sar and put him up there. 
I mean, it's, it's crazy, man. It's crazy. Ronaldo can do a job at right back. Put him back there. That's, I mean, that's the kind of stuff our manager was doing, just throwing players around, just making bring up. Bring on AD, stuff. man. That's phase, that's phase four. That's phase five now. You know what I mean? Bring on AD. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> him in the grill, put, put him in the grill on the pitch with the dog. I mean, that's. I mean, he would have done better than Declan Rice today. Can't lie. I mean, I mean right, we're going to put win the dog up front. He would have had a better first touch than Eddie and Kitty here today. It's it, it's time. It's time. It's time to stop the talking, man. It's time to go ahead and, and uh, dispose of this manager, man. It's time to bring in some quality. And I'll if he doesn't this, win something this season, he no, he, no, if, at least, at least, at least, at least, let me let me help you out. He's not winning anything this season. We all know this. Yeah. But at the same time, we have that 0.1% of fucking hope. <laughs> yeah. Man, yeah. let's be real. Yeah, that Dubai trip, we all called that out. Since Dubai, we've been insane. But then guess what? We got the reality check. Lee, you know what he did, right? You, by buying. You, you know what he did? When he when we came off of that international break, he made all these crazy changes. He didn't go with what he had, what, he, what we were going with when, when we went to the break. He comes back, Jesus is automatically shoehorning the team. Zinchenko is shoehorning to the team. Well, why is he playing Havertz in midfield today? For what? Where has he been at the last two, three months? Now, all of a sudden, he goes back to what he started the season with. I mean, it's, I, I'm just tired of it, man. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of getting on here every single year, April, March, and May, and we're having the same discussion. Complete balling it. All I heard last week, oh, man, Aston Villa be tired. They, they played a game midweek. And they're, they're going to be tired. We should we should bash them and all this. And, and here he is, has this team put together for the win. They come out here and they beat us. But I'm here no, to tell y'all. Oh, no size done. He's, he's done yeah. it. He's gone. He's flatlined. So, you know, he's had enough. That's it. No sides. Lee, I mean, uh, Lee uh, Jez, Wednesday, we're going to get a battering. Yeah. We're going to get a battering. We are going to the sword. I want people to understand we're going to the sword because you know how we are when we lose games like this. We tend to go on these the extravagant losing streaks. We were one in seven. We were one in seven in December. We hadn't had one of those. We hadn't went on the streak yet. And we tend to go on streaks and we tend to go on them one, two, three, four games. This is why I said I was not out the realm of possibility that we could piss the whole Champions League away. And for me, don't worry, man. Don't worry, Matty, yeah, because we got players. We, we don't have a striker because we spread the goals around. We didn't even score one goal today. We spread the goals around. And don't matter what, Matty, yeah, because apparently, do you remember the other narrative? We score from set pieces. <laughs> oh, wait, Lee, what did I ask in the chat today? What did I ask in the chat today? What did I That's ask in the chat? We got right outside the box, yeah. <laughs> Matty said, yeah, can some, because I was like, yo, this is a dangerous free kick we got here. And Matty started laughing. He went, yo, can somebody in the chat tell me how many direct free kicks we've scored this season where we've took a free kick and it's gone straight in? Yeah? The whole chat lit up. Zero. <laughs> Not one. I yeah. already knew it. That's we've what scored six off of ripping them in and scoring off of the cross from, yeah, from a set piece. Six. But from a direct free kick? Nah, bro. None. Nope. That's right. right. And it's all right. Yeah, what did they say, the first man. What did the guy say, though, Lee? Oh, but I'm happy. I didn't expect much from Havertz. So the fact that he scored nine goals, yeah, it's amazing. Cool. I didn't hear that kind of talk when it was Giroud and Lacazette. But now, Wait, what about when it was Nicola Pepe, bro? Yeah, or Pepe. Yeah. Because I'll tell Every you now, that hasn't Nicola scored Pepe, goals season, a whole package for Nicola Pepe with a fee and the wages is less than this guy. Yeah. 29 is going to cost this football club 132.5 million quid. Yeah. Over the length of that contract with a fee and the wages. 132.5, bro. Hey, yeah. hey, guns, don't forget how many goals has Jesus scored in the calendar year? What was that number we got today? What was that number we had today? 45 million. What was that number? Was bro, it eight he, total? He scored, he scored uh, eight goals this season. Eight goals this season, Northside. Eight goals, 45. Yeah, but Matty, nine. bro, it's what he does off the ball, man. You don't get it, bro. You don't get it. <laughs> you, know what I'm you don't get it, man. Yeah, you know man. He's he's out, out, isn't it? Dropping it like it's hot. That's what he's doing. Dropping it like it's hot. Hitting it, hitting it. Peruvian. <laughs> There's no way he's Brazilian. This guy's Peruvian, bro. No, nah, man. No, he Peruvians work hard, bro. No, no, no. Don't say that. Don't say that, bro. No, we got the Peruvians, no, no, no. Peruvian. no, no. Peruvian, man. No, he's I know. <laughs> no, he's Bolivian. Yeah, I'm like, I he's from Bolivia, bro. No, bro, he from Peru. 
No, no, no. They work hard over there, bro. I've seen that firsthand. No, 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 no. Uh -uh. <laughs> no, no, no. And, and it's just, it, it's time to move him on, man. It's time to move him on. It's time to move Zinchenko on. It's time to bring in, as I stated this, uh, during the show today, world-class players. The players have to be world-class. Soccer is not world-class. There is not one world-class player in an Arsenal right jersey player right now. Way off the level. Go on, go on, Jez. Go on. No, I'm sorry. It's soccer, man. He's, he's feigns injury all the time. Bored. I'm bored with him. Sorry, I'll just get bored watching. Too predictable. It's tough, man. It's tough. Leave what I told you. Soccer. Low percentage shot. You saw it today. I t we just talked about it yesterday, and I said, I want you to watch the low percentage shots that this team takes instead of making the extra pass to, to put a goal in. It's low percentage shots. But we've got, we've got the undroppables, man. I don't know, Jez, if you've seen that show, The Undateables. we got the undroppables. Certain players, yeah. 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 any circumstances, they're not getting dropped, bro. It's true. Yeah. Saka's not getting dropped. Odegaard's not getting dropped. Even hey, Zeus ain't getting Odegaard. dropped. He ain't getting dropped. How many games is he stunk out? Not getting dropped. Gabriel and Saliba, not getting dropped. You know what I'm saying? Ben White's not getting dropped. Regardless if they play well or not, they're not getting dropped. Ben w Declan Rice now is a new favourite. He's the new one now. Yeah. He's the new one on the undateables. He's, he, ain't, he ain't getting dropped for nothing. You know what I mean? So it is what it is, man. This is the type of manager that we have. And you can see that certain players are un undroppable because you have Tommy Yasu that before his injury was one of our best players. He was actually starting to change my mind on him. Yeah. He was yeah. performing really well when he got injured. Yeah? So he warranted starting this game. He's available. Kivio. I don't rate Kivio. But Kivio, lately, before the buying game, in the league, he's actually been decent in the league. So they warranted... More reason to start. Zinchenko. So when they started, sorry to cut you north side, yeah. I know you're in full flow. Sorry. When he started Kivio yeah. against Bayern, nobody was really too disappointed because it was like, oh, he's playing well. Yeah. No, I didn't want him to play. I can't lie to you. We wanted Tommy Yasu. I can't lie. I was like, nah. <laughs> I was like, nah. <laughs> well, there we go. I wasn't too disappointed. Yeah. But then when you sub him off at half time and you bring on Zinchenko. Yeah? yeah, I guarantee you right now. Yeah, guarantee you right now. Tommy Asu starts at left back against Bayern. Yeah, guarantee he starts at left back against Bayern after not starting the last game. Just gone Aston Villa today. He came on at right back. What the fuck is that all about? Right. And before that, he never started because he never played against Bayern. He never got off the bench. I guarantee he starts Bayern away. Guarantee yeah, it. I'm and this is the thing. Go on, Jess. I'm sorry, Zinchenko, bro. Uh, and and oh. match fixing. This is match fixing, man. There has to be a clause somewhere in that no, contract. This is match fixing. Leave. Gotta be. Gotta be. I, I, I mean, hey, Zeus, before that international break, wasn't even playing. And then he comes back and he shoot one every game he shoot one in. And, and, and trust our, and he moves he today I, I was when you stepped away he he put he put Kai Havertz in midfield we, sure. we, we all know that work did you hear what Tini said? said he's they were talking he was talking on talk sport and he said normally when you go out on loan there's no way getting back into the team um, I think it's best for, for both parties to part ways. The only one that's really been is Saliba. That's a rarity. That's what he said on Talk Sport, yeah? Yeah. So in fact, this wow. is really right. Yeah, because he can see that there's favoritism for Zinchenko to start. Yeah. No matter what you do, we've seen two other players play in that Zinchenko position, and they, he still favours Zinchenko. Kivio can perform, dropped when Zinchenko is available. And look at when we were blitzing teams, yeah? Ben White was inverting, Yeah. And Kivio or Tommy were at left back, and we looked rock solid. We didn't concede no shots on target everywhere we went, bruv. Yeah, he puts Inchenko back in the team, destroying and his panic stations. And now Ben White's not overlapping, he's not inverting, he's not playing bad. I wouldn't say he's been shit because I thought he was our best defender today. Yeah, but he hooks him off. Oh, but he's playing with an injury. They're all playing with injury, Matty. We talked about this earlier. Yeah. They're all playing with injury, bro. Yeah, look at Zaniolo. Yeah, he's got his legs strapped up. He's probably had an injection to numb his thigh. If he's yeah. playing with injury, why didn't Saka come on? Because they've been screaming out injury for two weeks. 
So why is he playing 90 minutes every game? You know what, game? man? Soccer go to moonwalking every time he get knocked down, man. He started at Michael Jackson shit, started backsliding <laughs> and moonwalking and going yeah. on, man. I'm going to start calling him, I'm going to start calling him uh, Billy Jean. <laughs> That's what I'm going to start calling him, Billy Jean. MC Hammer. All that dancing. Chris, the weekend. Oh, that he might come make you jump, jump, the jam. Yeah. That he might come make you live. Hey, hey, no stop. Pump up the jam. Pump up the jam, baby. <laughs> Pump, Pump up the, up the jam. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going. I mean, it's just it, it's it's time out to get these players. I, Lena, I told you, I told you this is going to be my going forward. This because we we talked about this two weeks ago, and I said if we if we could pitch like this thing, my my thing from going forward needs to be we need world class players. World class players. We need because a world class manager first and foremost, though, because you can't we need world class yeah. players until you get a world class manager, right? Because if you look at Ancelotti at Everton, yeah, people back then were saying James Rodriguez is world class based off of what he'd done previous year. He attracts world class players, Ancelotti, right? And he was at fucking Everton, yeah, Everton, bro. James Rodriguez turns up at Everton. We're like. Why? Because the manager is Carlo Ancelotti. Don Carlito Ancelotti, bro. The manager we should have had, Jez, when we fucking yeah. sacked um, uh, Arsene Wenger. Uh, uh, yeah. 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 That should have been our manager. And I yeah. don't I don't ever want to see an ex-player manage this football club. Oh, no. No no more. However, I did put out there, yeah, that when um, Wenger went, I said, bring in Ancelotti and bring in Patrick Vieira as a number two. Let him learn off Ancelotti for three, four years, and then maybe we give it to him. Yeah. When uh, Unai Emery got sacked, Carlo's available again. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Yeah, twice yeah. we've missed out. We missed out on Pep. We missed out on Klopp. We've missed Conte. out on Ancelotti. Not Conti. What's the other one? What's the other? The, uh, Jose. Allegri. Allegri was sitting Allegri. out there at one point. Oh, but he's washed. All these managers are apparently washed, yet they still keep cleaning up, bro. They're like cloths. Call them the cloths, bro. They clean up. They're cleaning up, bro. They're cleaning up. Yeah? Well, Call them the cloths. That, that, I'm afraid to have to say that is the levels of Arsenal's mentality is that we accept uh, mediocrity. And the fan base, unfortunately, accept <laughs> mediocrity. And the fact that I saw today, which I thought was an absolute joke, with these fans walking out, shocking. Seriously, walking out. J J you know why they walked out? You know why they walked out, Jay? Because they 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 saw the reality. They didn't want to face it. No, they didn't, man. No, they, no, 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 Matt. They didn't see reality. What they see saw, right? Was shame. Is, they found shame. They don't care. We, we when we was watching that game, we watched the no, game. Yeah, no, no, it's a go day on, out. Let's go on, go on. It's, it's, it's a day out. It's a social gathering. That's yes. what it is, isn't it? It's a day out. Meet up with your buddies, right, and have a beer and pay its stupid prices at the grounds. We know all what it costs, right? The fact is, these are not Arsenal fans, right? They come for a day out, have a shake of a hand and a hug and whatever with them. People they sit next to and all that. The days of proper Arsenal fans have gone. I can tell yes, you that. Fact. I can tell yes, you true. Fact. It's true. It's true. Yeah, I, I agree. I I know. I, I I do know a few people that still go. Kenny goes, right? But I know a few of my old buddies that have been going as long as I went, and they've had season tickets longer than me now. I had a ticket for forty-one years. They've had them for 48 years. Got me that way now, right? And they tell me every time in the North Bank that people turn up, don't know who they are. Yeah. It used to be a community where you you knew everyone around you. Yeah, oh, all right, you know, chat, chat, chat. It's now a different complex. And they, That's they, what they it, wanted, Joe. It's just a day out at the Emirates. Make take your money, take the chick, take your ticket money on an on a exchange ticket, right? Can you get all these exchange tickets? Yeah. And it's a shit show, man. And when it gets to the like today, 
right? You got somebody from Buckinghamshire or from Norfolk. Hey, or... That's not Buckinghamshire, Jez. That's where I'm from. <laughs> <laughs> Buckinghamshire. Well, did, you see, did, you see the, did you see the banner from Milton Keynes? I see it. That's where I'm from. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, but this is the thing, Jez, yeah? Right? People will listen to this, and most people will get what you're saying, yeah? But there'll be a little percentage of people who go, oh, he's prejudiced against it. It's not local club anymore. They just want the North London born and bred. No, we accept we're a global club. Matty's here. Yeah, Matty lives in the US. But he yeah? <laughs> and Gail. Yeah? Other fans, Maybe. bruv. All around the world, bruv. We do not care. The fact, is, and I said this to you, Matty, yeah? My big up Flo Zanelli as well. My boy, bruv, yeah? My boy, that Australian G, bruv, yeah? Big up to that guy, bruv. When we went to the Emirates, I, f I can't remember what game it was. I'm sure it was Chelsea. I may be wrong. We're in the North Bank lower, block 10 at the Emirates. He was the loudest fucking fan in the stadium. Mm. Yeah? And all these other heads are looking around. It was older heads, Jez, as well, yeah? All looking around him, he's trying to get chance going. Looking at him like he's an alien, yeah. Mm. And and this is why I don't listen. Some of these overseas fans are fucking like, nah, yeah. Matt's on this channel for a reason, bro. Yeah, because I'm Matty gets it. Matty knows I'm this not shit, right? In a girl at Matty. I'm no, not... I know you're not. No, no, Jez, no. Let me finish. Let me finish. What I'm saying is, yeah, a lot of these fucking fans that go to the games that are English fans, they're too. Oh. Posh. I'm only here. I'm only here for the whining and dining. Oh, oh, I'm I, I'm just entertaining a client. Yeah? yeah, they're all leaving with 10, 20 minutes to go. Yeah, they're all fucking turn up late, go and have a pint at half time, leave five minutes before half time, come back 10 minutes into the second half and leave 10 minutes to go. They've watched fucking 60 minutes of the game. Yeah, mm -hmm. right. It is a disgrace. The whole fucking English football culture is a disgrace. It's not just Arsenal. It's every English football club in the Premier League. And why that is that? Because the no. Premier League markets this bullshit. Yeah? Markets it. Anyone who boos their players, toxic and negative. Yeah? Anyone who protests, oh, it's a disgrace. Yeah? How are you booing a player? Look at what the manager's done for the club. Mate, I watched Valencia versus Bill Bow last season. Yeah? Valencia, yeah, their owner... Um, I can't remember his name, but he's got a part share or part owner or maybe full owner. Yeah, um, well, he's not full owner. But I think he's got the majority sh uh, stake at Salford FC with Gary Neville and that lot, yeah? Bro, 35,000 Valencia fans are outside the Mastaya against Bill Bell, yeah? Whilst the game is being played. Protesting against the ownership. Protesting. Now imagine we're doing that. Oh, no, I'm back at my second home. <laughs> yeah, back at my second home, guys. Yeah, these fucking spending things, 19 quid on a pie and chips that tastes like mud. Do you see that at Newcastle United? Do you see that at Sunderland? Do you see that at Bolton Wanderers? Do you no. see that at Oak City? It's the big six no, clubs. you don't. Because they But look at, look at Luton, for example, Jez. Look at Luton. Luton, oh, the love story, the fairy tale. Bro, they're fucking shit. <laughs> Lowest Let's just have it right. They're crap, bruv. Yeah, they are crap. They've won six games out of 30-odd games this season. They've conceded how many goals? I think they've conceded about fucking 60 or 70 uh, goals. So 63. Season. Yeah, mad. Absolutely fucking Roll yeah. They've, Roll they've, conceded, no, they've conceded 70 goals this season, Luton. Yeah, yeah? they conceded less than Burnley. But overseas That's right, more than, more than Burnley. Mentality. Like, I'm an overseas fan for Benfica. I was born, I was born and bred in England. I never lived in Portugal. My family are from Portugal. I'm the generation that was born in England. But none of my family told me, oh no, you know, with Benfica, just accept mediocrity, just accept not winning. All the fans establish. Do you know how many Portuguese people are around the world? Do you know how many are around the world? Do you know how many Portuguese people have never lived in Portugal, bro? Do you know how many? Bear in Brazil. Millions in Brazil, millions in Canada, millions in America, millions in England. Millions in Spain. Exactly. I, I was walking around Mercadona two days ago, yeah. I thought of you. I was going to text you, yeah, because there was this Portuguese woman, yeah, bruv. She, she was on the <laughs> phone to somebody walking around. She was going, Pucaria, Pucaria. <laughs> yeah, 
<laughs> yeah, she was going, what did she say? What am I going to call? I was fucking tired. Yeah, I was walking around Mercatona pissing myself. Right? But this is the thing. People don't realise how big Benfica are. Yeah? Until about 10, 12 years ago, Benfica had more paying members yeah, than any football club on the planet. Yeah, and then since then, I think Bayern and Man United and so on and so forth, Real Madrid and all these clubs have overtook them. Yeah, Benfica are huge. Glasgow Rangers and Glasgow Celtic are massive, bro. bro Marseille are massive. Lee, if, if you watch, you watch Celtic and Rangers because they're in the middle of a title race over there. You watch whichever one of the managers blow that title race and watch what happens. If Brendan Rodgers blow this, watch what happens. Watch what's gonna happen over there. You think Rangers and Celtics fans put up with this crap? No. Absolutely. Arsenal fans are the only fans that just, oh, they just go along to get along. Feel, I, t- I tell people we suffer from the, the Holly Berry syndrome, man. We just want to feel good. Make me feel good. This monster ball. Make me feel good. That's all they want to do is just feel this good. This generation, Matty, yeah? This generation talk about, oh, be kind and all that. You guys, yeah, have platforms like oh, They're not kind in my you- fucking comment section. Yeah, on my, exactly. on my video. <laughs> exactly. They want to be all this conscious about mental health, but you'll go on every platform, and it's not just about football. Yeah, it could be celebrities. Any celebrity that I don't like, I don't go there spamming their comments. Yeah. And putting in toxic stuff. You man are toxic. Any content creator of any kind, any celebrity, you man will go on their TikTok, you man will go on their Twitter, you man will go on their YouTube, or any social media that they have and spew abuse, but then scream out mental health. They're the most two-faced generation I've ever met. At least back in the day, in the 90s, yeah? We had to go to a payphone, put your 50p, and, yeah. the, and the flipping machine robs your 50p, and you have to put another 50p to make a call to your mum. At least we knew, if you say something to some about someone, you better have chest. Yeah. Because there's repercussions yeah, now. You're getting oh, no, up, up. You're getting We're going to say something negative because you don't say what we like, but then we will abuse you, but then tell you that you need to be kind. Someone told me, oh, no, side, you're always bantering about people's looks. You man are telling me that I look like a girl. You man are telling me I look like Van Dyke. Yeah, you, you, you're I just a skinny like Van Dyke, bro. You're a skinny <laughs> Van Dyke. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So what are we talking about here? You'll cuss me saying I look like a girl. I'm trying to be expressions. I'm trying to be Lee. Um, why have I got my hair like that? What's why are you mad all the time? Yeah. What's the with you? Let's get it all the time. Oh, this old man. This Why are you, why are you being ageist, bro? Yeah, this old, this, this old man knows more about Arsenal Football Club than anyone watching right now. And there's still 2.8K in it. Yeah, and more than all three of us, apart from Jez, obviously, on this panel. Jez has forgotten more about Arsenal than we all fucking know. Jez, you grew up, you could open your front door, cough up a load of phlegm and spit it on the east stand from your front door. Yeah. Mm. Tell him about your granddad, bruv. Yeah, tell him, educate the man. Tell him. Oh, yeah, my granddad... Um... Uh, first saw Arsenal 1924. Um, and uh, when my granddad met my granny, they got married and they bought a house in Gillespie Road, uh, right opposite the North Bank, as was being built at the time. It was being built at the time. And he went to the 1927 Cup final. Um, Cardiff. Uh, yeah, and we lost one. Yeah, year. I know. All knowledge in the mud, apparently. And the goal scorer for uh, uh, Cardiff seat was a guy called Ferguson. And um, my granddad, luckily, when my parents uh, got together, my mum and my dad, they rented a house in Avenal Road. And then eventually they bought it when I was a baby, basically. And my granddad taught me everything about Arsenal I used to go to my granddad's house opposite the North Bank. And when I got to the age, the grand old age of eight years of age, he took me for my first ever Arsenal game in the East Stand at Highbury. And um, I went there and sat there with, with him. He wouldn't take me in the North Bank back then. <laughs> Why, just Tell him. Tell him. He said, you will never see the game and I, I would never take you there. And he <laughs> went for three years. And then he took me to my first ever cup final, which was the 69 uh, League Cup final, where we lost 3-1 to uh, Swindon Town. Yep. And then um, I was privileged to be see the second leg of the Fez Cup, 69, um, when we won against, um, in, in Europe, first trophy ever. And then I was privileged to 
go to my first ever league game at Highbury. And then we went on to watch, I was lucky to go on and watch um, my first cup final at, at Wembley, where we beat wow. Liverpool 2-1. Our double winning seam, and it went on from there. And eventually, when I got the grand old age of 16, I got my first season ticket and uh, went on and watched many, many games. Um, privileged to go home and away because I like this. it was the 77 78 season. I had my first ever game away, 23rd of December at um, White Hart Lane, where I got smacked in the mouth with a brick. Um, <laughs> came over, knocked out three teeth. And that was a great Christmas, I can assure you. Not great and Christmas, you filthy animal, and a happy new happy. year. <laughs> Thanks very much. Still got the scar. And uh, <laughs> yeah, my journey's been wild a wild one with Arsenal. Um, 41 years I had a season ticket, gave it up in 2016 because I got fed up with it, bored with it. But yes, you're quite right, Lee. For up to the age of 18, I could walk out my front door. I could walk across the road 20 yards and kiss the doors of the East Stand at Highbury. And basically, it broke my heart when we gave it up because it was a journey for me and for many other people. And I'll never forgive it. I forget it. And uh, people say to me, Jase, you don't go to the Emirates. No, I don't because I, I just don't love it. Yeah, Jase, you've said to me, yeah, you've said to me that is a soulless fucking bowl full of fools. It is. It is. It is. It is. I, I just knows more about Arsenal Football Club than any person I've ever met in my life. And I, I remember knocking on this guy's door in Stevenage. I can't remember the guy's name. Yeah. But he took me, Paul's, up into his loft, Paul's again. Right. <laughs> right. And he must have been about 80, the old boy, right? And him and his wife, they made me dinner and everything. I couldn't believe it. I was like, do you want double grade? Oh, yes, come in, son. Yeah, and I was chatting to him. And I was like, oh, yeah, I said, like, Arsenal play the weekend. Oh, you're an Arsenal fan? He said, watch this. He had all the programs, all the shirt. He tried to give me an Arsenal shirt, yeah, because he, he, him and his wife bought windows. And I went back there when they were fitted, yeah? And he was trying to give me a, an Arsenal shirt. Yeah, like from, I can't remember what year it was, but it was like maybe the 60s or something. He had every single Arsenal shirt. Yeah, it was like a shrine. Went up into his loft conversion. It was like a shrine, Jez. Yeah. Unbelievable. He showed me, what was the magazine called, Jez, where they had the caricatures? No, uh, the Gunner. Uh, no, the, um, um, oh, fucking hell. Um, yeah. Um, no, it was called the... Oh, fucking hell. I know I've it's going to gonna jar you, innit? <laughs> I've, got some, I've got some of them. I've got some of them. <laughs> and you open uh, it up and it's like a big magazine. Yes. Yeah? And it's got caricatures uh, of all the players uh, in there and uh, stuff like that. Uh, um, oh, fucking hell. Um, the, was no, it the goon? The goon? The goon. The gooner? No, it wasn't the gooner. No, it wasn't the gooner. No. What was it no. called, man? Fucking cover. Somebody knows. I know you know it, but fucking mate. That guy had every edition, every single one. I, condition. I've got them in the loft, man. Every um, edition. He had every single one immaculate. Every single kit. Yeah, from like back in the 50s and 60s, this guy. Yeah. Well, I swear well, to God, well, yeah. Well, and that guy, I sat there. I didn't care because I was on commission, yeah. I sat in that geezer's house before I even knew he was going to buy windows. Yeah, I didn't even know if I'd booked the appointment for him to buy windows. I sat there, him and his wife cooked me fucking dinner. <laughs> I sat there for about seven hours talking to him because he was an encyclopedia of Arsenal. Yeah. And he said that he gave it up because, like, he had fucking um, arthritis in his back and his legs and all of this and that. Yeah. So he couldn't go. Right. But he still had his season ticket and he gave it to his grandson. Right. And I was just like, nah, man, this is fucking wild. Yeah. And this is why when I, when I met you online, Jez, pause. Yeah. When I met you, yeah, I was just like, this is like speaking to that guy. You guys, yeah, I swear, man, unbelievable. Was it gum flesh? Well, no. I don't think. No, it wasn't gum flesh. I can't. No, I can't remember. It wasn't I've the goon. The goon is the. 
No, I want the Guna. No. The Guna, the Guna is the um, the, um, the fucking thing they do now. Yeah, the thing they do yeah, is it's not that. No, it's not that. Oh fucking hell! Um, I saw. I, I, I was looking at them the other day. Come on, man, get your head together. You've had too looking, much red, bro. You've had too much red. I have fucking. I was looking at them the other day. I haven't got many of them. I've got a few. Uh, I gave. I told you the other day. I gave low. Loads and loads and loads and loads of programs away to a young guy um, that's autistic. He clicks all kinds of programs. Two years ago, I gave loads of programs. I've kept classics, obviously. Um, oh, what the fuck was the name of that? Yeah, it's not. I don't think it's Gunflash. It's not Gunflash. Gunflash. No, it's, it's not the Goon or the Gooner. Or, the, the Gooner is, um, is a thing they do now. I can't remember the fella's name. I've met him. Yeah, and it's like, buy the Guna, get your Guna, get your Guna. Yeah, he's outside. He's, I can't remember. He's, the guy. Yeah, I he's, see him he's, in the he's that guy's fella. That, that, he's nice fella, actually. He's outside the um, uh, Emirates. He's outside the armory. Yeah, where the yeah. little one is. He's normally outside there. He's not. I see him in Osterson. He's Good lad. He's got his, selling his flags and uh, scarves mm. and all kinds of shit like that. Um, Ah oh, man, I'm annoyed now. I can't remember it. I can't remember. I'll get it. Called. No, I'll get it in a minute. I'll get it. Um, yeah, but anyway, that's my journey. Um, I, I noticed somebody yeah, front yeah, yeah. one called the gun flash, but it ain't that. It ain't that. It's a white one. It's a white one. We we left we left Harvard to compete with Wrexham. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's not that. Right, um, right now, they probably whoop our ass. <laughs> Directory, we going. Are <laughs> right, they getting promoted again? By the way, back, bro. What pays uh, are they on? What pays oh, are they? Um, I noticed in your chat there. It's like uh, somebody made the comment. Um, classic, isn't it? It's a classic one, isn't it? Um, yeah, I know, I know. I know what it's called, but there's there's one called the Guna, there's one called the Gunfight, but it's none of them. It's not them. It's older than that. I'll I'll, don't you worry. I'll find it. I've got pictures of them. It's, and I remember it. It's white with blue, and it's got all the caricatures of the players, and they're freight and like sick. Yeah, he had every single fucking one of them, every one, and they were immaculate, mate. Every single kit from like the fifties or whatever. Yeah, fucking crazy. Yeah, his loft conversion was a shrine to Arsenal. Yeah, it was mad. Yeah, it was absolutely fucking crazy. Yeah, and he tried to give me an Arsenal shirt, and I was like, bro, I'm not taking this Arsenal shirt. Off. No, thank you. You're in a I was like, bro, you're in your 80s, bro. I'm not taking this shirt off for you. Big up for dinner and that. <laughs> like, come on. Anyway, we are going to wrap this up. We've done two hours, 22 minutes. Um, listen, if I did, I, I've not replied in terms of speaking to any Super Chats. So big up to everyone who's put them in. I've replied to everyone in the comments. Um, it's still 2.6K inside. Who's live that I like will redirect. Um, I will read this one out because it's the last one as well. Don't put any more in, please. Uh, live by the sword, die by the sword. Our tetra stubbornness has led to this. The sad faces on the super channel is priceless, bro. They're nicking a living, but their their uh, their demise is going to be as up there. It's going to be up there. They if, will be uh, clipped tomorrow. Right, it's going to be up there. It's going to be glorious to see, bro. Up there with goldfish and that, making out you don't know who I am. Yeah, cool. When Tao land, lands in what eleven <laughs> days, bro? Yeah. I'll send him a selfie because I've got his number and he knows I've got his number as well, bro. I'll send him a selfie because he knows who fucking Tao is, bro. Yeah? <laughs> cool. Anyway. Anyway, Saeed's live. Say less, guys. Um, Jez, appreciate it, man. Yeah, we swerved. I We swerved. Um, was it Shoot? It might have been Shoot. No. That rings a bell. I can't lie. No. Yeah, I think, yeah, Jez, I think it was Shoot, you know. Couple of people in the chat are saying shoot, and these are the older heads. I think it was shoot. No, the real that one is fucking bell. That does ring a bell. Mm. Yeah, that does ring a bell. It was shoot. Yeah, people are saying shoot. I think it was shoot. Yeah, that yeah. rings a bell. I can't remember. No, no, I've, I've got I, I, the original one was different to that. It's different to that, man. I've got it. Yeah, here. yeah. It's shoot, it's shoot, it's shoot. I've Googled it. That's the... Mm. Oh, hold up. Wait a minute. That's not it. Hold up. All right, big up everyone locked in. Smash these likes up, guys. Smash these likes up. 
you find you it. Know, you, know, you know what the next... Uh, the there's going to be up in the loft in about 20 minutes, bro. <laughs> no, I'll, be, I'll, yeah. I'll be looking at... I'll be looking for yeah. it. Don't you worry about yeah. that. We'll, we'll, we'll get that in the back chat. We'll get that in the uh, Maybe it's Matt. Match and shoot. Matt. Both of them ring a bell. No, they were commercial yeah. ones, man. Shoot and shoot. No, and there Matt. was one. It was a white magazine with blue and red. Yeah, mainly white. And then you open it. It was about 30 pages. And it had the caricatures of the players in there. Yeah, and it was from like 70s or 80s. Mm. Yeah, I can't remember. But anyway, listen, I know Jez has got all of them. or well, not all of them, but he's got most. I'll most find it stuff. tomorrow. Don't you worry about that. I'll find it tomorrow. Maybe goal. Yeah, big up Gary. Gary's an older head as well. Big up Gary, man. Mm. But um, but listen, big up to everyone locked in, man. Look at what uh, Francisco said about Arteta. Right there, that comment there, Francisco. Arteta about Villa. That was... That's the reality right now. We knew that this moment could come, and now it's about reacting and believing. Yeah, this guys is a bottle of agua, guys. Check. You spray it on your face, it's like when you're in PDD party, guys. Set um, the turnip, man. Set the turnip. Set that turnip. Get him out of here, man. Perfect. Um, but listen, we are going to wrap this up. This has been relentless, man. We're going to redirect to uh, Said. Uh, Said is live. Um, I think but... in the chat. He's getting ready to end. So flawless is live. Oh, is he ending? Yeah, I think somebody's chat say he's he's ending. So okay. flawless. flawless is life. Say less, guys. Flawless is life. Can't big up flawless, man. Yeah, why is Ten Hog still here? It's his title. <laughs> why is Arteta still here? <laughs> hey, right, Jez, appreciate you, man. Big up to you, my bro. Always love, man. What you got coming up? Shout out, you shout. I couldn't get all the links for everyone in the title, so they're all in the description. Yeah, well. um I haven't done anything since Wednesday. Um, and I'm going to do a show tomorrow night, which will be on fire because I'm going to, I'm going to absolutely take this club apart and I'm going to take the fan base apart, uh, basically. Um, yeah, but it's not going to be about Arsenal. I'm going to have, um, ah, I have a palace fan on that actually helped us out today. Uh, young Jack Ramsey and, uh, yeah, it all went tits up, didn't it, basically? And I am absolutely disgusted. I'm still angry, guys. I'm going to get another Arsenal fan on, hopefully, um, to talk about it. Um, because I think it's an absolute disgrace here. Disgrace here? Is that right? Is that the right term? Disgrace here, guys. Disgrace here? Um, yeah, I, I, I want to get another Arsenal fan on to talk about it. Because I'm in, I am in pain. I won't lie. I've seen this too many times now. I've had enough. Seriously, had enough people. And um, it's time to pop this manager and this fan base to the sword. It never happened in my day. And I've had enough, mate. And thanks for having me on, Lee. And uh, big up Northside. Big up Matty. Big up Lee Gunner. Um, the time is done. And I've got a lot of things to talk about. And I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, come on, Arsenal History and More, guys. Uh, smash a like on the video as well. Uh, sub to Jez, Arsenal History and More. Uh, Northside, my bro. Yeah, listen, you got Benfica in the mud. you got Arsenal in the mud. Poor Benfica. It's not going well, is it, bro? You know what I'm saying? Shout your channel out, bro. Northside LDN, link in description. What you got coming up, my guy? Now, nah, big up, man. Big up. Love for the, for the replay. Back. I need a piece. Yeah. No worries. Yeah, now, nah, big up, bro. Big up, Lee, Jez, Matty. All the real ones in the chat as well. You know what I mean? We stuck by our guns and we didn't we didn't bend, we didn't fold. So, listen, it is what it is. Um, Tomorrow, I'll be clipping up all the top gooners by lunchtime. So, 1 p.m. tomorrow, lunchtime, I'll be cooking up anyone talking any nonsense about the club. And then probably do another show in the evening. Uh, probably get some Arsenal fans together. And, um, yeah, have a chat. Probably get that fraud Fuad. You know what I mean? I didn't see him in the <laughs> comments today. So I need an explanation. And I don't care if you're at work. You know what I mean? StreamYard, you can put it on your phone. But, um, yeah, man, just continue to put out more content. It's crazy. It's crazy. 10 uh, subs away from 9K. So, yeah, man, love to everyone. Um Everyone that's enjoying the pain. There's a lot of, you know what I mean? We talk about uh, mental health. Bro, everyone's views go up, man. You know what I mean? I saw when you're doing a watch along lead, subs go up. As soon as Arsenal are losing, subs go up. Yeah, it Rant helps, it helps when Rant, Said and fucking LB redirect, brother. They're here for the tears. Mm. 
I don't know. Yeah, I don't know where the toxic and negative crowd are. They must have deleted the app. Yeah, mm. the ones that call us toxic and negative, the ones that are always positive. Where are they? I haven't seen no, them. No, 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 no. They're clipping us up and making us probably trend. Yeah, bro, <laughs> I've, I've been sat here. It's 25 to 1 in the morning, yeah? I've been sat here since half past four. Yeah, so I've been sat here for eight hours nonstop. Mm. Yeah? I quote tweeted a tweet of mine from the 6th. Yeah, it's now Monday the 15th. Right? I quote tweeted a tweet from the 6th saying, we played them two city scrubs between now and the end of the season. The season's done. Then at the end of it, been the pair of them. I quote tweeted it earlier. I said, I did warn you all. I ain't seen no replies saying gone on it. Yeah, I guarantee, oh, you're negative. I guarantee if I go on Twitter, I'm trending. There's clips of us everywhere. Where are these clips when we're positive? Where are these clips when I'm saying, yo, guys, flipping come on. Liverpool lost, yeah, the other day, or blah, 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 blah. They drew with United and all of this. And I'm like, yo, bring on Bayern. Nobody clips it, bro. Yeah, fuck these dickheads. These dickheads that are the top gooners are all walking out the ground, bro. Yeah, they're all walking out the ground. Well, listen, big up to you, Northside, all, always, man. Uh, Matty. Matty did the watch along. He went and played football and got slapped, a bit like Arsenal. Yep. <laughs> turned over, bro. We got turned over, bro. What was the score? Six to two. Oh, jeez. Did you score? Hell no. Man's moving like Eddie, bro. I was like, hey, bro, I was out there channeling my, my uh, Andre Santos, man. I was out there. <laughs> He's doing a trial He was barging him off the ball in front of hey, goal. He's missing it. Hey, bro, I remember, I remember it was like Jesus, bro. He thought he was a carnival and that, that like, twerking and that. Hey, no, no, no service today, bro. I got no service, man. I, it, it was just like having older guard against a team worth a damn. It, no service. <laughs> Shout no. your channel out, mate. It's Southern Guna. Link Southern, in the description, guys. Come on. Southern Guna, I'm probably gonna cut uh cut a video later on this evening once I once I get relaxed in and uh I'll probably do something. I'm th I'm really close to doing a five side chat tonight. Um I'll uh I'll be around this week. I'm actually off most of this week except Friday. So if anybody want to want me to do anything, I'll be on. I'll definitely be on tomorrow for the uh the real talk podcast tomorrow. Um, uh, more hurt feelings. Northside, it's always good to see you, brother. Big up, bro. Yep, yep. Yeah, I can't big up to everyone locked in, man. Listen, this stream has been a fucking crazy one. It was unplanned as well. We were gonna do player ratings. I said, Jess, should we do them live? And he was like, Yeah. I said, nah, fuck that. We just call emergency meeting. It's all the rage these days. Big up the Tates. Yeah. <laughs> Big up. <laughs> all right. Can you imagine Andrew Tate running this football club? Jesus Christ, bro. Yeah. <laughs> can you imagine him? Can you imagine the Tate brothers in charge of this football club? The, the this player is real. Right, it would be elite, good. though. <laughs> yeah, we'd win everything. Man, yeah, if we did, like all facts. Don't be like Robert, bro. They, they you know what what I mean? Mean? Eight months, eight months talking. You just know your P forty five is coming. Oh, you ain't won the league. Right, helicopter, helicopter, helicopter. <laughs> <laughs> All right, make sure you get Jez's subs up, guys. Come on, make sure you get Northside and Matty's subs up as well. Big up to a gal who came on. Big up to Brandon who came on as well. Yeah, and, uh, yeah. I'll be back again. I'm gonna take these off and turn all these fucking lights off. Eight hours straight, bro. My eyes are dead. Yeah, I need to throw a bucket of fucking sand on them to find the wet patch. Pause. No, I walked um, hey, I'm trying to I'm trying to match that work rate, man. I'm trying to match that work rate, bro. Yeah, you got a job as well, don't know. So you're not doing this full time. Yeah, this is my gig, isn't it? Yeah, it's like, but you're killing it. So is Jez, so is Matty. Come on. Yeah. Like, but this is the thing. It's like when when you do it full time, yeah, bro. Like, I fucking I was so gassed I fucking have a lay in today, man. Yeah, I was so gassed on Monday I could actually have a night up of a wash because there was no football. Yeah, and it's like I wake up tired every day, even with 12 hours sleep. And I'm just mm -hmm. drained. But you have to keep going, bro. Yeah, no days yeah. off. Yeah. It kills you. Yeah, and Jez, kills you. You've run businesses, Jez, yeah? Jez, there's days where you wake up and your body is fucking drained and you're like, you've had three, four, five, six, seven hours sleep and you're like, I can't be bothered today. You don't run a business or businesses, yeah, without fucking mentality and work rate. You have to work, man. Whether you're tired or not, you have to work. You should like, yeah, you know, I'll, like, I'll tell you what, when I ran my I business, I'll be, I'll be lucky to get five hours sleep because I'll be like finishing work and then I'll be on the computer for four or five hours doing invoices, doing quotes, doing this, doing that. And then you're up at six in the morning, out nine, ten hour days, and then you're back doing more 
invoicing, more quotes, man. It was relentless. So I get where yeah. you're coming from. I get I get where you're coming from because all right, you're not doing quotes, you're not doing invoices. Yeah, you're I'm not, not doing, doing yeah, I'm not doing like face to face. Your, yeah, your, but... your, your, your mind focus is one hundred miles an hour on what yeah. you're doing. I get it, I get it, I get it. I mean, um I I haven't done eth anything on my stream since Wednesday, you know. I've I've lost two subs because I, well, I, I haven't done anything, so I Fuck the two subs, Jess. Fuck the zero de puta. Yeah? Big up never yeah. a foul in the chat. Come on. You got, yeah, I Jez. mean, you, your side, you, your side and you, you do it all the time. Bang, 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 bang. And I respect you for it. Because I, I don't think I've got the energy to do that. Jess, what did I say to you? Instead of doing play ratings, I said, should we go live? We'll do about an hour. Here we are, two hours, 35 minutes in. <laughs> Le 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 yeah, after doing a watch along that was four hours, free fan cams. Yeah, all right, go on, mate. Go on. Y'all got better work rate than the start. The starting eleven. I mean, <laughs> y'all put in a shift. Well, yeah, I'm a better finisher than the fucking half. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yesterday, yesterday was between me going to my auntie's birthday or me doing a video cooking Big Ange. I was playing that video clip. You know, neighbors, neighbors. All right, you killed me. I watched that today when I woke up. Yeah, right. I always wake up, I go and have a coffee. Yeah, you know, I put the little capsule in, do my coffee, I have a cigarette, yeah, a couple of little fucking chocolate hobnobs. Yeah, fucking, I'm like, yo, let me see what's going on. And I have to put these on because my phone's, I can't fucking see anything without these on, bro. <laughs> and I'm only supposed to wear them for work, right? I can't fucking see anything without them. Yeah, and then Deji rocks up, bro, with neighbors. You're like, yo, is Basuma better than rice, bro? <laughs> he, was like, he was like, yo, his little speech when he jumped on, he was like, yo, don't worry, Villa got a little saying, just have humility. Well, he weren't lying. He weren't lying, and here we are. <laughs> yeah, but he can't clip me, because I told him I think he'll be a draw. The thing is, he gets too excited. He talks facts on Arsenal, but he's deluded when it comes to Spurs. That's his problem. Yeah, That's why he's the thing. These, these fans hold every other club to a higher standard than their own club. When it comes to their own club, and their own club melt, yeah, that's when you see their real truth. Yeah, big up Terry Flowers, bro. Yeah, as soon as it's United, bro, he's got different standards, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> look at Mo. Big up Judge Mo. Yeah, as soon as it's Inter, bro, Internazionale. Yeah, Milano. Yeah, as soon as it's Inter, bro, them man have walked a title, bro. They got knocked out to like let years having a fucking meltdown. They yeah, sack everyone. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Come cool. to Arsenal. Hey, keep as soon as it's Arsenal, oh no, trust the pros here yeah, because they want us to be the little man, innit? They want us to be little bro, yeah? Nah, bro. We, we're tired of, of getting pats on, tired of getting pats on the head, man. Yeah, little, well done. You did well. Ah, oh, bless. Yeah, get out of here, man. I right, big up to everyone locked in. We're going to re um, redirect to Flawless. He's still live. Tell me he's still live before we wrap this up real yeah, quick. Yeah, he's still live. He's still yeah, he's live. live. Let's go. Yeah. We're going to redirect to Flawless. Big up Jez. Big up Igal. Big up Northside, big up Brandon, big up Matty. Yeah, Brandon, big up Matty. yeah fuck Arteta. Yeah, <laughs> fuck these man them. Yeah, this bunch of bottle jobs. Do it again, bruv. And it is what it is. I might have to... Wait, I don't think Jack won a trophy today, bruv, yeah, while we were bottling a title. Mad thing. Uh, anyway, on that bombshell, uh, we're out of here. Redirect to um, Flawless. <laughs> Tell him, Jez. Fuck. Yeah, flawless spam is chat. Yeah, there's 2k people still watching. Spam is chat. And big up to everyone who's dropped a donation, like, sub, share. Check the fan cams out. Yeah, check them out. And we're out. We're back tomorrow. I'm back for fucking. I'm literally working again in what 12 hours from now with Said. Fucking LB is going to be relentless. Adios, see you, de puta. We're out. Ciao. Sacamo. Bye. Jogging no licho.